Disney Plus. So I assume the recording stopped for a minute or something. Uh, can you guys confirm if you are back into the uh, back into the recording? Uh, just just a thumbs up or anything in the chat would do. Are people here? Uh, hey, uh, did the recording stop for you guys for a bit? Is it back now? Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I by mistake stopped the meet uh, recording for a, for a second. Some some issue with the OBS. Great. Awesome. Ha! Huh, because I stopped, you see decreased numbers. <laughs> All right, all right. That's very interesting because it's Twitch. I really don't know who's actually talking to me. So how would I even make out who Swift Grass is? Who paralyzed this? But never mind. We can live with anonymous identities. But I mean, the, 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 the number of participants drop. Okay, that's strange. Okay, uh, 415 it is. And it will be officially starting. Uh, regardless of the number of participants. 288 is a good number. And I think 415 is justification for the people who have been waiting here for 15 minutes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. 14 we start. Great, a uh, minute and we we'll start. Just a minute more. Okay, I can't wait. Let's start. So, um, uh, we're officially starting this. So, welcome everybody. Thanks for being a part of this meet. Uh, hopefully, you can take away some important things for which you've come here for. Hopefully, your doubts are also answered. Uh, great. And um, so, we have a few things. We have a few things in mind that we want to go over uh, before we can entertain your questions. Because I think this, we have entries from a lot of fourth years, a lot of third years, and a lot of second years. We didn't expect such a wide spectrum of audience. So we'll try to we'll try to cover details for uh, uh, pertaining to all of them, and if ever I uh, indulge in details pertaining to a particular year, which I promise won't be won't be a lot, uh, if ever I do that, uh, please bear with me for those few minutes because we'll be generalizing stuff uh, every now and then, which is which will be applicable for everybody and not just uh, for a particular uh, uh, year or anything like that, and. Um, and also a heads up, uh, we didn't we really, really didn't plan this meet for two and a half hours to start off with. We actually planned this meet for one and a half hours, but uh, we set it for two and a half hours because uh, uh, for all those interested ones uh, who will, <laughs> for all those interested ones who will be, uh, I'll, uh, you know, um, uh, staying staying late for asking more questions to clear all of their uh, 
doubts and also we didn't want to inconveniently end the meet within one of us if it goes beyond that so we'll try to finish it as fast as possible covering all the important details and the crux of what we are here to cover as soon as possible so you won't be uh, keeping you entertained here for long but um, if it goes for two and a half hours that, that's going to be the maximum time it's not going to uh, go beyond that uh, you, I, you can take that as my uh, you can take my word for it so we'll start over by going over some uh, important things that uh, we'll start over by going over the important concepts in competitive programming that uh, i uh, i believe that uh, should be should be really really uh, are very very essential and important when it comes to coding interviews coding problems not just interviews i would say for the entire placement right from your cp right from your rounds your uh, coding which probably might be your aptitude round followed by a coding round followed by your interview round uh, this should be this should be useful for all those rounds and uh, so that's that's the first agenda for today covering which topics are of primary importance and then as you can see we have several other agendas planned as well uh, how you this these the, for those who are already have a solid looking linkedin profile a brilliant github profile and all those stuff don't worry we are not going to spend half an hour or 40 minutes explaining how to build a linkedin profile i'm going to do that but we are just as as i said uh, since you have a wide spectrum of audience i thought it's really important to touch up on some essential details when it comes to linkedin github creating uh, uh, projects what type of projects are being looked by uh, software companies uh, how you how you build a proper resume there are, there are in fact some some really important details when it comes here we will get to that but uh, don't worry don't think that um, i already i already have a brilliant resume i really won't need anything uh, much from this part of the session trust me you you might you might find it useful so stay around and uh, uh yeah so we we start off with the important topic so by the way um, uh, for those of you uh, who didn't know i am uh, i am rishin currently in my i'm going to my fourth year and i'm from the computer science department so that introduction should have come earlier but never mind uh we 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 will start off with what cp topics are important when it comes to uh, interviews interviews uh, coding rounds uh, in in general so so this list which you are seeing in screen right now uh, this list uh, dynamic programming prefix sums two pointers etc etc these are concepts in computer programming and i have arranged them in a uh, decreasing order of uh, in decreasing order of importance which means uh, dp will be of uh, primary importance uh, yeah dp will be highest importance and uh, we the importance is going to go down uh, uh, as he as he go down so uh, uh, just a second so we will hide the chat and we will look into it only and we are uh, when it says we look into it great so dp is of the highest importance and uh, we'll be going down uh, uh, as, uh, with the importance as he go down so dp is very important so from what i've seen uh, in dynamic programming dynamic programming questions are asked uh, in, in almost every one out of two coding rounds it's it's such a, an important topic that uh, people it's also a very hard topic so i would say dynamic programming is something like an uh, a high effort and uh, high reward topic so uh, it's very hard to uh, if you're starting off with dynamic programming i would say it's a uh, you need to put a lot of effort to understand dynamic programming but if you put in that uh, effort it's going to reward you uh, really really high because the, the amount of questions the amount of questions that they ask were in this topic is so high it's very high I, i'm not even joking here uh, i think i've, I've heard and also experienced uh, dp programs uh, dp dp questions uh, every one of two interviews or coding rounds and uh, it becomes really uh, important as you go up the uh, ladder and also just so we are on the same page uh, across all the years uh, the marquees uh, we define we classify companies into four categories uh, just quickly going over it marquees uh, with 20 lpa package and super dreams with uh, 20 plus lpa uh, marquees 20 plus lpa super dreams will be 10 to 20 uh, package and dream will be uh, greater than 5 less than 10 and block should be less than 5 just so we are on the same page great so uh, dp since it's a high effort topic uh, the the preparation and the effort that goes into uh, learning and understanding dp is uh, varies to each person but uh, this one particular link that i found in my second year uh, it was a game changer for me so this was the only link that uh, really really transformed my absolutely destroyed self esteem when it comes to dynamic programming into okay i can also solve some dynamic programming questions so you really need to look into this uh, into this link because uh, this explains how to do dynamic programming how to think of dynamic programming solutions so you don't need to start remembering solutions you don't need to start uh, uh, so solving dynamic programming so equations with absolutely zero hope you can uh, uh, look at michael tanilak's uh, absolutely brilliant answer uh, you yeah so that should uh, really help so this is one absolutely great link we will, by the way we will be sharing this stuff with you uh, after the meet but it's amazing if you guys can uh, take some important things down may always help you down the line 
and uh, yeah so this is a vast topic you need a lot of googling and finding your best fit obviously since this is we are facing a vast spectrum of people with different levels of experience in uh, programming we are not going to detail to explain what is dynamic programming how to uh, yeah, and start to explain uh, how to solve dynamic programming questions we cannot do that because we have a wide spectrum of people so all that we can do is give you pointers as to the right places and the right areas to look into to uh, make yourself accustomed and prepared for these uh, coding rounds and interviews so dp will be really important and uh, uh, for marquee companies this is very important bitmask dp i have seen this a lot uh, a lot in a lot of uh, marquee companies this question keeps uh, uh, repetitively asked uh, last year even google online round i think uh, around three questions were uh, uh, bitmask dp uh, i think three questions were bitmask dp so that uh, that shows how important bitmask dp is so if you are if you are aiming for a marquee company i suggest really get, just don't stop with dp you also need to know bitmask dp classical dp questions are uh, important i would say classical dp questions are always important but not as uh, but uh, but not for marquee companies i wouldn't say it's very important for marquee their importance shines when it comes to super dream companies so for as is, as i uh, put down here for marquee companies you need to know advanced dynamic programming uh, it is for super dreams uh, i i believe it's enough if you know basic dynamic programming classical dp problems because it's always variations of classical dps like knapsack have like uh, uh, like lis lcs all those dp problems for dream and block i i i don't i don't recall uh, uh, hearing or experiencing questions from dynamic programming we, we will go over the questions that dream dreams and block uh, answers and uh, so this, this is as far as dp is concerned uh, since it's in the top of the list you should be knowing that uh, if you're preparing for a coding round try to maximize your efforts in dynamic programming because you face a lot of questions from there uh, just just let's just check 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 chat before we go into yeah so vanti has chat the uh, that that's good uh, do we have any questions that are pertinent that needs to be answered immediately no amazing okay great so we can see some spam let's ignore the spam let's go into the next topic uh, we need to so that's this is this is, i would say the second most important topic i would say this is the most this is the fundamental topic that anybody would learn uh, when they start off with coding in general uh, preparing for interviews or for resolving competitive questions prefix sums would be the first uh, in fact uh, if uh, by the way if you had come to the coding club meets this is the first thing that we had taught you there so prefix sums uh, is very important so we'll quickly go over it uh, let's start going to uh, prefix sums is how going to what prefix sums is and everything you can even always figure that out in the links that we are going to uh, helps in finding so just remember this tip uh, this is this was a tip that not many people know but really helps you if you know so prefix sums help in finding frequency uh, i understand that many of you may not uh, relate to what i mean when i say prefix sums helps in finding frequency you can figure out uh, what it means by solving these two questions and uh, unlocking a hidden potential of prefix sums and taking it up further in interview questions so this 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 particular tip has helped me a lot in solving a lot of prefix sum questions so i thought uh, it should they really go down there and uh, prefix sums is a it's a very fundamental topic and something you can find absolutely anywhere in the internet so you don't have to uh worry about uh, getting a particular links or anything you can just go and oh by the way uh, uh for links for any of these topics or any coding pro topic that you want to learn uh i suggest going into uh, this particular link called cpalgorithms.com just google cpalgorithms.com space uh, space whatever you want to learn say let's say prefix sums and uh, you should be you should have you should have a brilliant page explaining with code snippets explaining what prefix sums is uh where you have to what you really have to do with prefix sums and all that stuff cpalgorithms fantastic page so please check that out so keep this keep this tip in mind uh, it's helpful frequency finding frequency we never know it might it might really prove to be helpful down the line i would say uh, prefix sums is re 100% requirement for marquees uh, super dreams again uh, it's since it's a basic concept concept you really really need it and even for dream you definitely need prefix sums i'm really not sure about block and how uh, how uh, pertinent it is for blocks but i'm guessing it should at least be 50% because prefix sums is a fundamental topic and forms the basis for many coding problems So let's quickly check chat before we move on to the next one. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay, it's echoing. Uh, guys, uh, is it? Okay, great. So it's probably echoing for one person. Uh, Epic Geeker, uh, please check your uh, 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 audio input. Something's probably going there. Okay, let's go to the next one. Two pointers. So in case you guys have not, just one second. So it's about fourteen. We have fourteen people. That's great. I didn't check the number. But anyway, it's coming back. so the third topic of very uh, much importance is two pointers 
uh, so two pointers also i have seen two pointers so many times uh, i've heard about people getting two pointers questions so many times there are a lot of varieties when it comes to two pointers like uh, sliding window uh, i really didn't mention it here because uh, you can you can always you can find it in this this link just go to this link it, it's really not uh, useful for you or me if i mention the types of two pointers here uh, the slow pointer method stuff like that we have a lot of lot of two pointers methods but the idea is you need to cover all the types of two pointers sliding window being super important because there are a ton of questions from sliding windows and uh, uh, it's it's really really important you guys know let's change the color of the pen by the way give me ocd have it as blue okay fine great so sliding window yeah go sliding window actually it's not as blue really sorry please let's go with something which is more bright yeah that should do uh amazing slow sliding window go sliding window slow pointers you can figure out all the uh, uh links here uh sorry the, the types of uh, types of coding window problems in this link and uh yeah this should this should do but every time you see this uh, add link of drive here this is this is the, this is what we mentioned when you sign the google forms from the google form so we mentioned that you'll be sharing your content for uh, two pointers right the thing is the coding club has been uh, rigorously always uh, having sessions uh, in which we teach two pointers in which we have taught prefix sums in which we have taught dynamic programming binary search uh so string hashing and stuff like that so all the things that we have taught and we have a recording available unfortunately for a lot of things that we taught we don't have the recording but for the things that we do we are going to provide you with the links so that uh, you know this makes your effort very less your uh, investigation time very less and rewards very high that's the essential point of this meet right we want to minimize efforts and maximize rewards so you really want to know what exactly to do so my suggestion is my suggestion is first uh, go to the drive the drive is going to explain from scratch what two pointers is go to the drive of prefix sums it's going to explain from scratch what uh, prefix sums is and for dp uh, this is a session taken by me uh, i have not added the drive link here i i added the drive link but that's a session taken by me and uh, i'll basically be going over michael generic answer in detail over over what two hours uh, two hours just explaining this guy's answer because it's that brilliant and that that game changing so uh, definitely go through the drive links that's a good starting point uh, if you ask me that's a brilliant starting point so yeah so that's great uh, again uh, for marky because I, i have this demarcation for all the topics because uh, again we have a wide spectrum of audience and i don't know which one's going to help who so we we will cover all the details as much as possible so for two pointers uh, as i said we have uh, uh, for marky you definitely need to know need to know two pointers it's as important as prefix sums are because it's a basic topic so you might get questions which combine prefix sums plus uh, two pointers when it comes to marky's so it's a given you need to know two pointers for marky's super tree is also 100% because you can get stand alone two pointer questions uh, sliding window questions are so common i can't even stress how common it is a uh, dream again you need to know it it's important and for block uh, it's a very important topic so let's say 50% let's say 50% i'm not sure but 50% should be a good guess should be a safe guess okay we, we can we, we are safe to go to the so so avinash should she avinash has also started a lot of uh, uh, coding interviews so so he says that we have to check out geeks for geeks uh, practice and uh, they are nice problem set so if he says that uh, you need to take that into notice as well because um, uh, geeks for geeks see in my opinion has a lot of good good questions so do check that out but uh, don't uh, it's my personal belief that geeks for geeks don't have good uh, learning resources so don't ever type geeks for geeks sliding window and type learn sliding window for geeks for geeks i personally am not a fan of geeks for geeks because I really believe CP algorithms, code forces, blocks do a much, much, much better job. Tushar Roy videos or any other YouTube video itself does a much better job than Geeks and Geeks. It's just a personal belief. You don't have to stick by it. If it works, it works. Uh, just go with Geeks and Geeks. But I believe you should go for other useful resources. But for problems, yeah, Geeks and Geeks has some good, uh, good interview set problems. So definitely check it out. So, do you guys have any questions at this point of time? I really don't think you guys will because we just have covered three important topics. So, if you don't have in the last like, ten seconds. I'll be going on to binary search. Let's quickly check. How are you, brother? Great. So one person has left. Interesting. All right. All right. Uh, where will I get all these links and your notes? So uh, this is an um, this is an uh, this is what this is an uh, one note, right? This is uh, this is one note. Yeah, one note. So this should be available for you if you're using Windows. Uh, even otherwise we can put this all in a word document uh, with proper formatting and send it to you guys so don't worry about that we can always give it to you and uh, uh, just a second guys just one second let's go to uh, since you guys don't have doubts we'll go to bind search but give me a minute just give me a minute uh, i need to i need to 
say something with a T here. Uh, great. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, great, so we'll go look into the next uh, topic, binary search. So, personal, binary search is my personal favorite. Irrelevant information here, but uh, it's such a beautiful concept. Don't 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 look at binary search and be like, oh, I've learned binary search in 12th standard. 12th standard computer science taught me binary search. It's this this is topic where we find the find if an element exists in an array after sorting it, right? Uh, no, that's not that's not at all the binary search that you're talking about. Absolutely not. We are talking about a much amazing, much better uh, data structure that uh, uh, not data structure, but a concept in computer programming that is so frequently asked. Uh, uh, let me let, just remember this: two pointers and uh, binary search is very, very, very common. Uh, this pattern I have seen a lot. Even prefix sums plus binary search. Prefix sums, binary search, two pointers form the basis uh, basics. You, you guys have to have to really, really know this. That's why again. Binary searches are hundred percent. Super dream is hundred percent. Dreams are eighty. Blocks, the safe guess to make it as fifty percent. We never know, but I have a feeling. I don't think it will be fifty. I think it will be twenty percent. I don't think you'll get binary search topics in block. I just just a guess. But yes, we have a wonderful video for binary search as well. Uh, please go check that out. I think I think it will be really helpful for you guys. Uh, when we share the links to you, uh, please go check uh, check out binary search so again. I think it's a two-hour uh, coding club meet where we uh, in detail discussed. On how to get started with binary search, discuss a problem and stuff like that. This should be really a less effort, high reward kind of. That's, that's why we are doing this for you guys. So definitely check out binary search. And, 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 and. Uh, can you allow for other video qualities? It's lagging a lot for me in 1080p. Um, okay. Uh, can the team confirm if I can do that? Can I allow other uh, other video qualities? Is is that possible? Uh, I am checking the WhatsApp group, so if you guys can message the WhatsApp group, I'll, I'll, I'll get to know immediately if I can, uh, if it's possible to change the video qualities. So, one heart, uh, till the team gets back to me, I'll be continuing with the meet. Okay, uh, so the team says it's possible, but yeah, so they, they want, okay, yeah, so they want me to continue until they figure out if it's exactly possible. So, I, uh, okay, auto. So just for bond halt, let's let's try to figure this out. Just, just two minutes, guys. Try to figure this out. So you're saying uh, you're going to go into video and uh, do some something new. Is is this why you want me to change it? Okay, I I think I'll get uh, clear details from the team in a bit or so. So bond halt, just bear bear with us for a moment until we figure things out from our end. I'll be continuing with the meet. So yeah, yeah, we we I'll be continuing with the uh, continuing with the session. So until the team figures it out, and if it's not possible, really sorry, man. Uh, but he has it not great. So we will see. We'll see what we can do about it. We'll see what we can do about it. So let's go on to the next uh, very important topic: trees and graphs. Trees and graphs. Uh, you guys, it's a topic that uh, many of us avoid. We just don't want to get into this uh, area of trees and graphs and creating trees. It looks very intimidating. It might look as if it's uh, a very difficult topic to learn. It's sometimes for people it's as scary as dynamic programming. But no, guys. The trees and graphs. If you learn it the right way, if you learn it from the right resources, it's a very simple topic. Please don't learn trees and graphs from geeks for geeks. Please don't do that. Uh, it's just 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 go to CP algorithms and learn it from there. It's way better than the DFS algo there, the BFS algos there. The way they explain it is much better in my opinion. Uh, but really, yeah, if Jika geeks works, then go for it. But I just I I really have a very strong belief that CP algorithms does a way better job in explaining trees and graphs. Especially DFS, you have the code out of the box. You can just copy paste that code, and you are done. You, you just start using the code. But of course, I wouldn't recommend that. Don't have DFS as a black box. You need to know how DFS works. It's very important because uh, no coding, uh, no coding question will be ever like uh, implement DFS. Nobody is going to ask that. It's never going to be like this. They are going to give you a city. Uh, say they are, there are so many uh, nodes, cities connected to connected to each other through edges and we are going to tell you to do something specific in this tree and that specific thing would be DFS and you need to know how DFS works to solve the problem. It might sound like a lot but trust me it's simple. It, it is simple and it's a it's a must know it's a must know topic and you guys will be able to get to know this properly in uh, CP algorithms. Unfortunately we don't have a uh, we don't have a uh, sorry we got uh, sidetracked. We don't have a uh, video explaining from our coding club. We don't have a video where we explain uh, trees and graphs. We'll try to we'll we'll try to make one soon. Uh, if and when we make, we'll obviously let you guys know. But uh, as of now, we don't have. But trust me, CP algorithm is a good place to start. Or uh, I will when we go to resources, I'll explain in detail what resource is good for what, in my opinion, and what has helped me in this journey. So 
it's again a vast topic you need to google and find what fits you the best and yes uh, remember this guys this is like how i told you for uh, dp right i told you that bitmas dp and classical dp are some important variations of dp and how for two pointers sliding window is very important uh, in the same way for trees and graphs multi source bfs is very important uh, i've seen this so many i've seen this not so many times but i've seen this many times and multi source bfs i tell you why it's a very nice topic to know because it's very it's almost very easy to identify if if it's a multi source bfs question and very easy to implement as well it's multi source bfs is just bfs let me tell you multi source bfs is bfs plus one line of code it's almost that similar to bfs so it's not something new so please definitely learn multi source bfs and uh, since it's very easy to identify if you ever get this asked in a coding interview it's like a jackpot you can identify it you can solve it you can also code it because it's just bfs so why don't you learn it it's it i have seen this in some important interviews and uh, i think you need to know multi source bfs and yeah i think we covered this uh, try not to code dfs with stack even though it's faster that's not going to why it's faster but uh, try to code it with uh, recursion because it just makes life much easier down the line uh anything else yes there are some other graph algorithms which goes beyond the scope of dfs pfs some other things that are also very prevalent like uh, again even this is arranged in order of importance in my opinion in my opinion this this is a this is a this actually floyd rush should come about this my bad uh, let me make the quick change because i don't want to give something wrong to this let's make the quick change okay i'll do that yeah Sorry guys, let's make a quick change. Floor version should be somewhere, somewhere here, somewhere there. Okay, somewhere there. It's some somewhere there. So I think this is the. Uh, in fact, that's the case. Apologies, I don't think I styled this properly. Yeah, I don't think I did a good job. In, uh, this shouldn't be here. We'll say this can go. This can go down. And MST dice plus can take precedence. Yeah. Uh, this should be a good, good. This should be a good uh, order of importance. Everything here is important. Uh, we're not very frankly speaking, but if you want to focus specifically in something, first DFS BFS. You're not you're not going anywhere without doing DFS BFS, and then do DSU because it's also important. It's very similar. It's somewhat similar. Many problems that DSU can solve, DFS can solve. So, but still, DSU is important. Uh, Floyd Warshall, you might have learned it in the course, but uh, it's always good to go go over it because there are variations of Floyd Warshall questions. Uh, MST's Kruskal's algorithm is important. I've seen a lot of questions, a lot of, lot of Kruskal's questions. It's very, very common. Dice trust, again, super common. LCA, very, very common. I, I'm sorry, but I'm using the word common a lot because I have literally seen these questions a lot of times. So I can only be honest with you. So I also go over what topics are important for what uh, uh, you know company range. We'll, we'll get to that. But I have some notes. Let's see what I've written. Uh, yeah, these are some must-know sta starting starting things. When you Let's say you're starting off with graphs and trees. And... Uh, yeah, let's say you're starting off with graphs and trees, and uh, you you don't know which what are the right things to know for starters. You need to know this for sure. You need to know this for sure, and you need to know this for sure because a lot of questions have these concepts as part one, and then you have to do part two with what you did in part one. Part one will be finding the components, and then part two will be do something in those components, or part one will be detect if there's a cycle, and part will be if there's a cycle, do something else, do something else. So these are some fundamental things. Uh, I may not have listed everything that uh, these are the this thing, top three things that came to my mind. There can be other things which you can figure out and explore, but these are must-know things. So if you are doing trees and graphs, you need to know this. Hundred percent need to know this. So uh, get yourself uh, okay. So this just a second, guys. I need to relay something to the team. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, team. Uh, yeah. So. I did what I had to relay. So yes, uh, the importance level, marquee 100%. Sorry guys, you're going to see marquee 100% for almost all of these topics. The, uh, no, actually not. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We will keep those interesting marquees. Not so 100%, but super dream 100% topics towards the end. Yeah, so super dream, DFS, BFS, DSU, obviously 100%. It's, it's a must know thing. MST, Dystras, uh, Florida shall alone, 100, uh, let's say 100%. Yeah, it's 100%. But the rest of the things, 45%. It's not very common. I, it's not very common to ask MST, Dystras, and LCA, in my opinion, in Super Dreams. And in Dreams, uh, I would say uh, DFS, BFS, CSU, again, very important. Floyd Osha, let's put it at 70%. Sorry for the mix up here. Uh, again, LCA, 5%. I don't even think, I don't, really don't think they will go as far as asking 
MSC Dystars or LCA in beams. And block, I would say just DFS BFS. I don't think anything else is necessary. I'm not sure. DFS BFS should be necessary, but I am not sure. I don't really don't think anything else will be necessary. So at this point, uh, just let's just chat quickly to see uh, if we have anything important. Okay, I mean you're recording it. Yes, I'm not able to not able to scroll up. That's that's very strange. It's very very strange. Uh, maybe I can scroll up here. I can. Okay, uh, what do we have? We are allowed to access internet during the interviews. Uh, we won't be allowed to access. Uh, I do have it in auto. Great. So, yeah. So, I will I be able to allow uh, allow to access internet during interviews? Great. So, if the interview is happening on campus for you. Obviously, that's going to be impossible. You are not going to be allowed to access even your material on the uh, on the internet. And if the, inter if the interview is going to be happening uh, offline, I mean online through from your house, you are going to take up the interview through the internet. But uh, usually, what happens is. Uh, uh, they will tell you to screen share and uh, stuff like that. So you really can't can't use the internet. Sorry about that. Uh, replying to okay, uh, during coding interviews, yeah, uh, and that question is answered. And uh, you can go through the CP algo cycle utility function exactly. So as Venki mentioned, so uh, the, so so Venki also has a lot of experience over uh, these things. So if he's mentioning uh, that. Uh, in CP algo security function is good. It is really good. So you guys really have to go go over go over those things. And uh, uh, Fe uh, Fage asks if you can use any platform at least. Uh, sorry for this double. Let's just get, get back to this. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So can you? Uh, what is the best way to find cycles using use use DSC or DFS? It actually depends on the question. Now uh, you can use both. both I, I would I would personally use I personally use DFS. Because most of the questions which involve finding cycles uh, uh, has a DFS uh, style of uh, uh, follow through. It doesn't have a DSU follow through. Uh, it, it's okay if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, but uh, I think Asha that answers the question. And uh, Fage, uh, can you shall you use any platform at least? By platform, do you mean uh, uh, do you mean a coding coding uh, coding language, or do you mean something like VS Code or Sublime Text? It's, what do you what do you exactly mean? Uh, yeah. uh, hi, Sabri. That's that's a very nice day that you have. There. Uh, so Fage, you can follow. Okay, like Intel IJ, BlueJ, and stuff. Intel IJ, BlueJ, and stuff. So you mean you basically mean an IDE, right? Uh, just can you just confirm that if you mean an IDE? As far as you know, Intel IJ and BlueJ are IDEs. Uh, is that what you mean? Okay, great. So, yeah, you usually can use uh, any IDEs, but let me tell you how it works uh, from my experience. So usually you'll be asked to code in Hacker Earth or in uh, yeah, it's usually Hacker Earth or or what? Or uh, if it's a coding interview, probably VS Code. Um, because VS Code has a lot of uh, lot of uh, plugins. We'll get to that summary. VS Code has a lot of uh, plugins which lets lets you live share your content to the interviewers. So I'm I'm guessing it's going to be VS Code for uh, interviews and it's going to be Hacker Earth for online things. And in Hacker Earth, they can disable copy paste. So even if you code in Intel IJ, you can't really copy paste it into uh, Hacker Earth. And Hacker Earth has this uh, full window thing, and you can't uh, you can't shift screens. So I would say no is the right answer for your question. Can I use any platform? Okay, so let's go to the next uh, next thing. Stacks and queues. Uh, sorry about it. I should have expanded uh, DFS and DFS. So DFS is depth first search and BFS is breadth first search. You can Google this and you should be able to get for, uh, get it in first first try. Great. So assuming there are no more questions, let's go on to the next one. It's stacks and queues. Uh, yeah, stacks and queues. Uh, team, can you confirm if the uh, if the session is being uh, recorded offline? Uh, can somebody uh, message me in the WhatsApp group if this is being recorded uh, offline? Uh, I'll keep going over, but uh, that confirmation will be really helpful. Thanks a lot. So yeah, anyways, so the next important topic is uh, uh, great. It is being amazing. Next important topic is stacks and queues. You might have heard about stacks and queues uh, for right from 11 standard or 10 standard. If you are, have a CSE background, if you don't, that, that's totally fine. It's not a very hard topic. If you don't have a CSE background and stacks and queues is new to you, hearing it for the first time, absolutely no issues. Go over to Hacker Earth or any YouTube video or absolutely anything. I will cover those things in resources. But yeah, you can go over to, the, to these links and uh, understand what stacks and queues is. Uh, but once you understand what stacks and queues is, uh, how it works, uh, what sort of a data structure it is, you will be you will be the main the, you will be having to solve important problems with that. One important problem that came to my mind the moment I thought of stacks and queues is this question. Very important. Uh, uh, it, this has a lot of uh, follow-up questions. Actually, I can know what is the Marky super. Okay, great. So you came now and you really don't know. Great, amazing. This is uh, plus twenty package. 
this is 10 to 20 this is 5 to 10 and this is less to 10 uh lakhs 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 package okay i think that, uh, that answers your question uh, coming back so uh okay great coming back so this is one of the things that came to my head the first very if i if, if somebody says stacks and queues interview questions this is something that came to uh, so we'll answer the questions in a, just a bit uh we'll finish stacks and queues and get back to your questions so uh this is this is very very uh, pertinent and uh, this is a small tip from my side if ever you see questions uh, that says uh, height where height is involved you're given an array of heights if they say a of i represents a height nine i would say eight out of ten times i've encountered array questions with height eight out of ten times it involves the use of stack almost eight out of ten times so this i can't say for sure if this is something that people do subconsciously or unconsciously i don't know how, how they do this thing but i've seen problem setters usually refer to height when it comes to stack questions so i just thought i'll throw it in here and uh, this is also a nice tip that uh, uh, you guys might want to know there are so many questions uh, interview questions that asks you to left rotate or right rotate an array. And what I mean by left rotate is, uh, if the array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, left rotate would be what? I think it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. You left rotate it and put it there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. And this is super easy with DQ. With DQ, it's going to be a pop front and push back. That's it. It's going to be an O of 1 operation. Uh, it's it's such a, such a uh, it's going to simplify a lot of things. Uh, very surprisingly, a very popular remnant. He also asked this question last time and uh, so many were able to solve it with just dqs when what they expected was complex math so looking to dq uh yeah let's just erase that not putting it here dqs is important dq is basically stack plus q uh for people who are wondering it's stack plus q uh and uh, the importance as you can see this is the first topic that scored a uh, hundred on hundred in everything because this is super basic and you guys need to know stacks and queues because if you don't know stacks and queues you are going to score a big negative and we want to avoid that by all, all means. So the thing with two pointers, binary search and stuff like that is if you don't know two pointers, you're not going to score that big of a negative as much as you will score in not knowing stacks and queues. So stacks and queues are super important. Even if you learn stacks and queues for a long time and they don't ask it and you feel like, oh, why did I learn? That's fine. Because if they had asked you, you would have been able to answer it. Uh, as compared to a person who's not able to answer it, he's gonna score a very big negative and we want to avoid that. So learn stacks and queues, it's very important, but I don't see a lot of questions in stacks and queues compared to DB. That's why it's down the line. But again, it's important. Um, all right. Uh, let's 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 just check the chat. Some people had some questions. Great. Uh, for that, I just want to check. Great. Uh, actually, okay. is Python good for CP with the rest of the code in a particular language? Uh, Pranav, uh, can you also can you just tell me if you are in your uh, uh, you are in your second year or third year because uh, that question can be answered based on which year you are. Which program language would you suggest for coding interviews? Will they be allowed to code in Python or Java or C++? <laughs> usually, it's exactly those three languages that will be allowed. Python, Java, C++. They usually don't allow any other language. Uh, and for coding interviews, uh, apparently if you're in your third year and uh, you don't have C++ knowledge, go for Python. Because I don't think it's uh, it's worth the effort to go over C++. But if you want to get into hardcore competitive programming, definitely C++. You cannot imagine doing hardcore CP with Python. It's not possible because Python is a language. I don't want to get into intricate details as to why it's not possible. We have covered that in our uh, coding uh, club uh, meet one. You can all we have the videos. You can always share it to you and you can see it from there. But the thing is, Python is not the go-to for hardcore CP. But you can you can always manage. You can almost always manage all coding interviews with uh, Python. Almost. If the company makes it so specific that they specifically ask you to code in C++, then uh, I'm sorry. I I, uh, I we, nobody can help it. Uh, the, it's just the company's policies and you have to say you don't know uh, C++. Customers. But those things don't happen very often. You, you should be fine with Python is my guess. Uh, okay, in interviews, mostly it will be functional props, right? And we don't need to code everything like imports, STIN, STD out. Uh, I'm trying to understand that question. Uh, imports. So by imports, uh, I, I think you're a Node.js uh, developer. Uh, you're using imports and stuff like that. So. In C++, we have uh, a single uh, import. It's called hash bits underscore std c++ uh, That's the only import. You just need to remember that. And std in and std out uh, is just seen and see it comes built in. So there's nothing specific that you have to do uh, by yourself. Uh, Sai Prashant, are you asking that question with a Node.js background? I'm assuming that's what it is because all your questions make me feel like 
uh, you code in Node.js. Yes. Uh, anyways, uh, it's going to be, it's not going to be, uh, if you're Python or C++, you don't have to worry about imports, SDI and SDI. You just have to worry about one global import which will cover, which will almost have all the imports within it. And for C++, it's a bit slash SDI, C++. It's not important now, not relevant to the meeting, so I won't go into what the particular uh, import is. You can Google and figure that out. It's, it's very, very popular. You can see that in any, you can see that in any code for the submission of any any person, literally. Okay, so uh, I didn't, uh, great. So, sorry. So we don't have any other questions. Uh, let's go on to the next uh, next topic. String hashing. Okay. So string hashing is this. Uh, I, I would describe string hashing as this uh, gem that I figured out uh, very late. Uh, to be honest, I figured this out very late, and I missed out on uh, answering so many uh, questions. I thought it was super hard. I thought we have to use complex string algorithms like uh, KMP, uh, like suffix arrays. Uh, some some complex suffix trees, trees or something like that to solve the question, but all that it needed was just string hashing. Our questions, we'll get back to it in a bit after finishing string hashing. But string hashing is this question, is this uh, concept that simplifies a lot of complex looking uh, uh, complex looking problems in when it comes to strings. So when it comes to strings, you don't really have a lot of options. It's either string hashing or it's either KMP or suffix arrays or trees or suffix trees or uh, there are just a few algos that you have to remember, but even in those algos, I would say go for string hashing first because uh, it does a lot of job. That it does it, it can it covers a lot of things that KMP does, that suffix array does. Obviously, it doesn't cover everything that KMP does. It doesn't cover everything that suffix array does. It doesn't cover everything that tries to, but it covers like let's say twenty percent of what it does, twenty percent of what it does, twenty percent of what it does. So string hashing is this overall winner. It's like a jack of all trades, master of none. So it's super important to know string hashing because it's a really wonderful asset to have. So learn string hashing, and I have a very faint memory of uh, the previous seniors taking string hashing last year. And I believe we have the recording. And if we do, you'll be getting it. And uh, this blog, wonderful blog, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful blog for string hashing. Must check out if you want to understand string hashing properly. But if you just wanted for coding interviews and stuff like that, just go to CP algorithms learn. It's enough. It's enough. Don't go to this blog. This blog is only if you want to understand string hashing in detail, in super detail. But if you just want to uh, ace it for interviews or things like that, just, just go to this. And yeah, I already mentioned this, but uh, I can read it again. Just Google plus topic and this is my go to source for learning any new topic. Yeah, definitely. And the importance of uh, string hashing goes like, uh, yeah, so the importance of string hashing goes like uh, Marky is 100% as always. Super Dream, 60%. Yeah, not so important, but important. Dreams, 20%. Uh, block, uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing zero percent. Guessing zero percent. And uh, I I went on went overboard and mentioned some topics like KMP, right? I would say KMP is at uh, Marky. Uh, let's say one at one percent because uh, I'm giving it one at one percent because because of a few reasons. But just trust me, KMP is one at one percent. Uh, suffix arrays tries. Okay, let's not go into much details. Uh, let's not go into uh, naming for everything. Uh, these are these are topics you find time always learn it. I think we anyways have it in miscellaneous somewhere there. Uh, we should we should we should have covered it. Oops, sorry, misclick. Uh, we should have covered it somewhere. Yeah, we covered it here. So yeah, we can go there. We check on it. Uh, before that, before going on, we're jumping into the next one. Let's uh, let's go into the, the topic. Uh, let's let's look at the questions. Uh, Aditya asks, uh, sometimes when we try to solve the questions in Hacker, we code Hacker and code does not work on the compiler, works on the offline. Okay, so when this happens, Aditya, uh, you should know that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with hacker rank or lead code or hacker rank, but there is a, definitely something wrong with your code. Uh, this is something we have experienced so many times, and we have also got this question a lot of times. Trust me that uh, it is something. There is something definitely going wrong with your code. It is working in your offline compiler because your computer and your offline computer uh, and your offline compilers are optimized to handle uh, stray errors. Like for example, array of minus one. Code forces is going to scream at you if you give it an array of minus one. But your computer is going to act all innocent and nice and give you the right answer. You will you'll be left wondering uh, what went wrong. My code is perfect, but trust me, your code is not perfect. So if something like that happens, know that there's something going wrong in your code. It's usually array index out of bounds. Uh, try to figure that out by, by debugging your code. That's one way of figuring it out. So you have to figure it out. That's what I would suggest. Uh, same doubt. So I think that helps somebody as well. Uh, Hasha asks if string hashing is 100%. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Hasha, that's right. So uh, if you guys don't uh, understand that question, that's fine. But uh, it is not 100% reliable, but it's uh, it's 100% a beautiful uh, thing to know. And uh, it's like a, 
even if it's not 100% reliable it's uh, 100% useful when it comes to interviews so must know thing uh, pyro blaster asks uh, oh this blaster okay uh, are non cs id departments allowed in all cs id placements uh, i don't think so i i really don't think so uh, team can you confirm that for me uh, i don't want to answer that with my my limited knowledge on that uh, if i I'll, I'll confirm that for you in like a few minutes uh, pyro blaster but uh, I, i really don't think so Uh, Jayant uh, asks, are the earlier topics posted in previous videos, array, string, linked lists, and stuff? Ah, uh, so, sorry, Jayant, I don't. Ah, uh, uh, I don't understand your question. Ah, uh, what do you, what do you mean by are the earlier topics posted in previous videos, array, strings, linked lists, and stuff? I I don't get it. Ah, uh, okay, can you clarify on the question? Then we'll get back to you. Ah, uh, and the uh, Pyro Blaster will get we'll get back to you once the team confirms to me if uh, all other departments are allowed. But I I don't think so. I don't think so, Pyro Blaster. I really don't think so. Uh, sometimes they are depends on the i would say depends on the company or depends on the college the company lets then great but not so sure on that not very sure anyway sir confirm that as i said uh any other questions guys at this point anything else that uh, you want to know about uh discussion okay great uh, see none let's quickly check let's go back let's go into miscellaneous Okay, so we got the confirmation from uh, place one of one of our placement coordinators. She says that uh, non CSC and IT departments are not allowed in all CSC IT placements. So yeah, uh, as I said, it depends on the company. It depends on the on what college allows, but not all. Definitely not all. But for some they do, and for I would say for some they don't. Yeah, let's just put it that way. Great. Let's go on to the next topic. Uh, this is miscellaneous ad hoc. Ad hoc just stands for miscellaneous. So it's not a very fancy word. It's just miscellaneous. So these are the type of topics that uh, doesn't really fit under uh, any any important topic. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, just saying, I have, might have left out a lot of important topics here. You might be wondering, uh, what about? Uh, well, you might be probably wondering, what about KMP? Or what about SOSBP? Somebody brought that up. Uh, why haven't I never talked about these things? I've not talked about these things because I think, wait, sorry, KMP is a wrong example. Uh, why have I not talked about SOSBP? Uh, come on, what is this? Uh, why have I not talked about uh, heavy light decomposition? HD, HDL. Why have I not talked about that? Why have I not talked about um, uh, okay any other complex uh, segmentaries? Why have I not talked about that? I have not talked about these topics, even though they are important topics in CP, because I don't think they are of primary importance. Yeah, I said this is the this is the importance list, right? And I don't think they are as important as these things. It's amazing if you know SOSTP. It's amazing if you know STL. It's amazing if you know segmentaries, but not really important. Not that important. If you are if you are running out of time, if you don't have uh, enough things to do, you want to only focus on the most important of the important things. Then this is the go-to. Not segmentaries. Not STL. Not SOSP. Just clarifying that. And uh, yeah, thanks team. I I got it. I got the I got the I got the brief idea. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll again get back to questions once we're done with the ad hocs. So now looking at uh, ad hocs. So what do we have? Uh, Apologies if I have missed out some ad hocs. These are the ad hocs that came to my mind when I was drafting this. Uh, scheduling algorithms. I've heard people tell me that they've asked scheduling algorithms. Let's say I think five out of eight, five out of nine times. So almost one by two. So scheduling algorithms so so important. And I think the I am not very sure, but I think the scheduling algorithm I am talking about is LRU. I think LRU scheduling algorithm was asked so many times. Uh, don't recall a fair, and I don't recall. Uh, How many times? But it was a lot, and I was so surprised because I I don't know I don't know LRU till now, and this is something in the back of my head that keeps telling me that I have to learn LRU because it was asked so many times. And this is the order for Marky, uh, Super Dream, Dream, and Block. Eighty. Uh, so yeah, scheduling algorithms not very important for Markies, but for Super Dreams and Dreams very important. But for Marky, it's still eighty. It's not it's not less than eighty. It's still eighty. So don't go light on this. If you're prepping for Marky, then try to know as much as you can. Uh, two heaps problem. So this I'm not going to explain what the problem is. It's a problem where you have to find uh, the median using two heaps. A uh, median, uh, I think it's median. Running median. It's called the running median problem with two heaps, as far as I know. And the importance levels goes as 80, 100, 100. So uh, try to know this. Fenwick trees, KMP, segment trees, try suffix. We already discussed about KMP. It's a special one on one only for markies, only for markies. But otherwise, it's a hundred. All these suffix. Whatever I mentioned here, it's a hundred fifty zero zero. Let me zero for dreams. Don't 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 uh, bother reading this. It's not it's not at all a. This requires so much effort. All of these requires very high effort and very low reward for dreams. So don't try for this. And uh, hair and dot eyes is something I figured out recently, and I found this a beautiful concept. And I've also see repeatedly see this in YouTube videos. 
this is something i've heard from youtube videos not uh, not clarified or heard from my friends or myself but i think this uh, if this question is asked you will impress the interviewer uh, finding a cycle on a linked list the 100 100 100 100 100 great and since it's linked list i'm assuming uh, it's going to be 100 for you in this category uh, okay so let's uh, design rounds what about design rounds so design rounds uh, uh, for those of you who don't know design rounds design rounds are the rounds where they ask you questions on uh, questions that involve slightly about dbms os not exactly not exactly but uh, building distributed systems building systems system architectures architectures and stuff like that they are not asked in all all interviews not not, not everything prioritizes it it basically depends on the company so let's say you are prepping for company x figure out if company x has a design round and if they do youtube is the go to for this yeah definitely i'll tell you what uh, gaurav sen is really good tushar roy is very good uh, we are covering it in resources anyways but I'm just saying you know itself they are really good youtube is the go to for design rounds uh it's say priority 40 30 20 10 i'm not sure this i'm not sure of 40 30 20 10 it's just a guess but what you have to do is the priority will depend on your effort into figuring out if the company you are prepping for has a design round if they do you the priority email should set to 100 you have to prep for it it's not something that you can just answer with just knowing dbms os you cannot absolutely can't you need to know building systems and building architectures and scaling up what scaling down there are a lot of things when it comes to design rounds so you you really need to check this out youtube videos tushar and karasan they really good youtube videos um, but any youtube video will go as far as uh, anyways going to the next one inversion count uh, i think it's super important 100 100 100 Uh, I'm not going to go tell what inversion count is, but just remember it's important. Merge sort variations, count sort variations, again, hundred, 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 hundred. Yeah, it should be, it should be very important. Finally, for the most important question, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you would have prepped for this, right? Link lists, binary trees, AVL trees, pointers, all the annoying pointers. I was there, done that, and uh, I understand how annoying it is. Uh, uh this this particular thing link list jp style binary trees avl blah 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 all these things that involves pointers by the way none of what i talked about involves pointers nothing literally nothing if you are implementing any of the above with pointers you have to change the implementation that's not how we want to implement it this will obviously involve pointers and if it does this is the important level mark is 10 i don't think they'll ask i really don't have any experience or recall anybody telling me they asked a link list question in a marketing company definitely not for dreams and super dreams oh my god it's so important i don't know why they ask it so much but it's very important they just trip off questions from geeks for geeks just like that and ask you questions from there uh, when it comes to linked list and geeks for geeks it's uh, it's it's just chaos in super dreams and dreams when it comes to linked list and geeks for geeks uh, even though it's chaos i have put it in the last and at the last because okay maybe i shouldn't have but you get the idea right it's 1000 uh, it's just a lot it's big numbers uh, try to concentrate here if you are prepping specifically for dreams and super dreams ah <sighs> okay i talk not so for a lot of time let's look at chats take up the top uh okay jayan has sent gotten back to us uh blazer asks apologies guys let me drink a little bit of water before i can answer the questions Okay, so what do we have? <clears throat> uh, Blazor SSR. How important are linked lists as a DS concept, seeing as it isn't mentioned in this breakout topic? Okay, that should have answered your question. We just covered it. Uh, will CS students have an advantage over the IT students regarding the placements? Oh no, I, I really don't think so. I definitely don't think so, unless the the, the company which hires you has a uh, has some sort of a prejudice over CS over IT or IT over CS. Nobody should have advantage over nobody in any interview. <laughs> I mean. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, when it comes to CS and IT. Ah, uh, okay. Plagiarism says uh, uh, answers. Great. Plagiarism in the pattern CS students do back the high-paid jobs. Definitely not. Ah, uh, plagiarism. That's definitely not true. Ah, uh, if you look at the history, ah, uh, four years ago. Ah, uh, I'm not going to mention names, but I'm pretty sure ah, uh, three years, four years ago. You just have to look at the history, and you will know that uh, IT people, IT from SSN had a lot of amazing. Uh, Uh, placements uh, some just some time back and placements aren't over yet so you'll be seeing some amazing placements this year as well so don't think that uh, it's are not getting good placements and csc does it's it's definitely not true 
oh that's another venki amazing uh, venki asks what will be the basic concepts that should be known for a non csc id department um okay basic concepts that needs to be known uh, all of this ad hoc uh, all of this ad hoc actually everything that i covered all of these topics uh, uh, i've covered by telling you the importance for every particular uh, that you want right if it's marky you can no longer ask the question as a basic concept everything is going to be advanced you have to know everything as much as possible but for aiming for super dream or dream basic dp is enough prefix sums you need to know it two pointers you need to know it by research you know you get the idea right uh, we have we have discussed this through the last one now a uh, job interviews after pg is similar to those after ug very interesting question uh, to be honest i frankly don't know i don't think i have enough uh, knowledge over that area to answer that question but uh, face that's a very good question uh, uh, let me let me direct the question back to the team and if somebody in the team knows i will just relay their answer to you uh, if somebody answers but uh, let's keep that question on hold for now okay uh, guys uh, we have we have gone through all the topics that i felt were really important for uh, interview interview from the interview perspective from coding down perspective do you guys have anything, have anything in mind do you think i have missed out something important and you want to know why i have missed it out or do you think i have mentioned something that is absolutely unnecessary according to you or uh, any any questions that you guys have uh, let's let's give you guys 2 minutes to think of questions before we go on to these things should not take much time so don't worry these things are not going to take much time but uh, this is what this is the primary thing that we wanted to cover and we have done that and uh, so do you guys have any questions regarding uh, regarding this oh but, but by the way guys uh, don't think that uh, uh, since you have covered the primary thing uh, this is not going to be important this is going to be super important and this is also going to be super important so so i uh, hope you guys stay on for the rest of the things so that you can get full to 100% out of this uh, resources for c++ yes uh, play gs yes. uh, actually you know what let's go to resources next because that would be a good continuity to what's uh, happening <clears throat> okay so guys uh, for resources i think i've uh, mentioned for uh, yeah yeah, yeah. swift class will come to that uh, that's part of the agenda we'll come to that swift class don't worry uh, we have a road map for all first year second year third years and fourth years Uh, when we get there, we will definitely let you know. So, so class, if a question is not answered by the end of this meet, definitely ask again. But I'm, I'm, I'm really confident it will be answered. CP algorithms, uh, resources for C plus STL. Uh, so, plagiarism, uh, C plus STL. Go over this thing called uh, a hacker rank. Hacker rank, C plus plus STL proficiency. So, trust me, it's going to take maximum two hours to finish this. Uh, finish this uh, segment in hackerank so that's why you start with the stl that's why many of the people i know and personally i also started there only i learned stl there and uh, once you start once you get the basics of stl from hackerank c++ stl proficiency when you're done with that start solving problems your proficiency in stl is going to increase only by problem solving so start solving problems try to use whatever you learned in this when you solve the problems and that's about it that's, that's how that's how it should technically go ha <sighs> okay uh parabi great so yeah uh, hacker rank yeah this is a good place for practice for so yeah as the name is just for research understanding and learning concepts this is not for problem solving this is for learning understanding concepts okay so it's good stuff for now the cp algorithms hacker rank you can solve anything in hacker rank hacker rank is good for some I mean, learn anything from hacker rank it's good uh, sorry i meant hacker earth very sorry hacker earth not hacker rank uh, because hacker rank has problems it doesn't have much tutorials hacker earth has tutorials uh code forces edu section is beautiful it's i can't stress how beautiful it is because you literally have world number 1 world number 3 in programming uh people like that people not exactly world number 1 and 3 but people as good as world number 1 world number 3 uh, i would say world number 1 teachers when it comes to programming programming those kind of brilliant people come there and teach video lectures on topics Our, uh, that is code for the education is really good, but uh, one downside is you don't have all the topics in code for Edu. We have only some topics, like uh, we have D, we have prefix sums, we have two pointers, we have binary search, we have DSUs. So for the ones that are there, just go over it, and we will that should really help. <sighs> okay, so any code flows blog should help us. I already mentioned just type code forces, whatever question you have, that should that should be a blog about it. I understand from there. it really helps trust me uh, much better than geeks for geeks uh, tutorials uh, youtube.com channel blah 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 what is this okay this is i think this is gaurav sen gaurav sen i think this is gaurav sen and i think this is uh, tushar roy 
or the other way around. Yeah, uh, I personally learned a lot from these guys' YouTube channels. There are so many concepts. Uh, personally, I am a person who really loves to see videos and learn from that. And I have learned a lot from this. And I would definitely recommend even for interview prep to go, go over these guys' playlists. They have beautiful videos, short videos that covers everything in a quick span of time. They are really good. But yeah, you can feel free to find any useful video that you want. Uh, just a second, uh, team uh, is messaging something. Okay, great. Great. Okay. Uh, so for, uh, for for again for covering the perspective of audience, we have these two things are also important. For interview prep style programming, uh, where to solve problems? Uh, what are the reasons to solve and practice problem? Lead code. For marquee, it's hard problems. Sorry guys, but you have to go for hard when it comes to marquees. Super dreams and dreams, medium plus easy. Super dream, dream plus block. It's just medium. Super dream, dream and block. It's medium plus easy problems. But for marquee, ah, definite hunt hard. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's pure luck or if it is uh, coincidence. Um, from what I've heard and experienced, uh, I think I solved. I just I just solved forty questions in uh, lead code hard. Uh, I'm lazy. Don't be like me. Solve everything. I solved forty hard lead code questions, and I already saw six questions asked in marquee companies. Do you know what this means? These are not simple numbers. Six on forty is a huge number. If they ask the exact six questions out of the 40 questions they solved from LeetCode Hard, that means LeetCode Hard has some, some magic into it. Or either all the people that I um, all the people that I've heard telling me either they, their interviews is directly took it from LeetCode Hard. I, I don't know how it works, but I am just guessing that LeetCode Hard is super good because I saw six out of 40, and that's tremendous, tremendous, uh, tremendous, uh, tremendous statistics right there. Okay, and uh, uh, I, the team also asked me to mention. Uh, uh, hacker rank medium and hard questions aren't perfectly labeled so be very careful while going through hacker rank questions here uh, if you are going to yeah i should have had the hacker rank here uh, the medium and hard questions are good but not properly labeled like a medium question can be super hard and a hard question can be super easy so be very be very uh, i'm not sure how to figure that out too but uh, just keep this in mind yeah, hacker rank is a good resource but yeah again these things are also uh, numbered in order so you don't have to worry about which is most important these things so we, we have done we have uh, made your job very easy again ordered everything is ordered for you guys so uh, interview bit also good uh, i personally not experienced this myself but uh, i've heard great reviews and uh, oops that's giving me so much acd gee ocd why 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 that's giving me so much OCD. sorry i need to immediately correct this this has to be in red how can that be in some other country great uh, we are back uh, okay great so for hardcore style cp down uh, i mean hands down code forces uh, how how do i stress how important this is this is like i don't know how to stress how important this is uh, nothing compares to code forces nothing compares to code forces it is so important it's so important than everything else uh, by leaps and bounds Code force is intimidating. Code force is harder. I understand. But if it isn't intimidating and hard, it won't be at number one position. If you want to do hardcore sales CP, just go to do code forces. Stop hacker rank. I mean, hacker rank is good, great, but code forces is it's it's fair you need to do things, guys. Just trust me, please do code forces. At coder again, very important. Uh, A2OJ, very, very important. Uh, guys, uh, uh, I'm sorry, A2OJ also has to be number one with code forces. Uh, it also has to be number one. Remove this. It's not three. It's, it is number one. A2OJ is also number one. It's very important. It's very, very important. Uh, what's so wonderful about A2OJ is actually, if it's possible, uh, it, it just takes a minute or so for, for me to show you this. It's possible. Click this link. You see these ladders? If I click onto this and go over these questions, these are all code for those questions. A2OJ is made up of code for those questions. Okay. And the beauty about A2OJ is you don't have to worry about anything. Just solve the questions in order. That's it. You don't have to worry if this is going to help me or not because it will help you. Start from the lowest rating, go to go from 1 to 100, solve. Go to the next ladder, go from 1 to 100, solve. You're going to see a uh, difference in your problem solving tips by leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. A to J is brilliant, keep that in mind. And uh, oh, oh my god, how did I miss this? Uh, I don't know why it's in position 3. This is super important uh, for super dreams and dreams and blogs. This is more important than CP. Yes, I said that. Uh, aptitude is more important than CP. 
super important it's more important than any of the topics i mentioned here yeah yeah i'm not even i'm not even joking here aptitude is more important than any of it's my personal opinion but i believe aptitude is because let me tell you why because most of these rounds have first round aptitude plus uh, or oh, dbms yeah, okay oh my god what did i do that what did i do that dbms type os type kind of questions uh, but aptitude is the first round and if they are going to shortlist 60 out of 400 people with just aptitude they are not even going to be eligible for the cp round they are not even going to be eligible for the interview questions uh, uh, interview rounds where they ask cp so what's the point of doing all this all this hard work what's the point of spending so much time into cp zero time into aptitude and not getting selected out on the 60 people that that makes no sense right that's what the that absolutely makes no sense so aptitude is so important so so important when it comes to super dreams uh, yeah, of course even for marquee it's important in fact uh, uh, goldman sachs uh, to be specific uh, goldman sachs the first round was super hard aptitude it was not even a normal aptitude it was super hard uh, i would say i think average was 37 out of what uh, i think i think uh, can the team confirm i think it was 100 and people got selected to 37 score it was that hard i think it was 100 i'm not sure 100 or above okay it's 100 or above not sure uh but uh so yeah so the team also says uh goldman sachs not just for um, uh, super dreams and dreams and block even for marquee attitude is so important and this is a personal favorite mind you i stress up on this this is this is my personal favorite i don't know if many people find this as favorite but um i revise attitude uh within one one and a half hours just by going over this playlist Hey, if you go on the playlist, you're probably going to judge me because it doesn't look that fancy. It doesn't look that great. Doesn't have a lot of views. Yeah, yeah, all that is there. But <laughs> this that's why I want to stress. It's my personal favorite. I really enjoyed this playlist and I learned a lot from this particular playlist. And I always, even now, will just go to this playlist and look. So this is really good. And IndiaBigs.com is for practice. So you might ask, okay, I learned everything. Why do I practice? IndiaBigs.com. And so uh, this has been the thing I've been practicing from school days. Okay, ever since I wrote an entrance exam, IndiaBigs.com is a go-to. I think I'm, and, and I'm guessing this should help me also. Okay, uh, I just want to check with the team if I have uh, missed anything. And uh, just reading, reading the chat, just a minute, guys. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think the team has anything to tell me. Uh, what about what about you guys? Let's see if you guys have anything. Uh, our job. Uh, am I missing any question? Let's see if I miss. If I'm missing some question. Can you allow for one, one sec? Okay. Okay, sorry, I went uh, way up. Uh, our job interviews have to. Okay, we answer this question, right? Yeah, we answer that question. Let's move that back here. Let's go back. Yeah, let's go back and let's do auto. Should it work? Should have worked. Doesn't work. Why? Sorry guys, uh, yeah, work. Great. So our job interviews after PG similar. Okay, we answer that question. Oh, oops, we answer that question. So, yeah, yeah, we we'll share the link definitely. Don't worry. Uh, resources for CP answered. Where to start for an absolute beginner for CP? Yeah, we said we'll get back to that. Lead could I lead code or code forces? Try hacker. Can we use C lang in interviews? Okay. So uh, C. So I would say C plus plus over C any day. Any day. It's it's almost the same. Come on, it's C plus plus is. Uh, 89% C. So, literally almost the same. It's, so, I would just go for C++ because for a fact, I know C++ is allowed. C, it depends on the company. So, I'm not sure. It depends on the company. Sons of the Harpy. Okay. What does he have to say? How important are the ratings and stars on courtship or code bonus? Okay. Tell you how important it is. Facebook doesn't hire anybody below CM rating. You have to be a minimum CM for Facebook. I think that should answer your question, right? How important it is. It is it is important for some companies. It is not at all important for some companies. For example, let's take uh, let's take let's take some company. I don't want to mention names. I don't want to mention too much names. There are some companies who don't care about CP ratings at all, at all. And CP is just a general thing that's asked by many companies. But there are some companies that doesn't care about CP at all. This is on your. It's on you. You have to research what company you're prepping for and what they care about. But for example, Facebook, if you're not a CM, you're, you're not even going to make it past their resume shortlisting. That's how important uh, CP is for them. Even for Google, it's very important. Uh, I am able to solve only one, two, two problems in contest. I'll get stuck on the third one. What can I force, force, focus on to improve? Tip two. Okay, got it. Uh, uh, SS Laser, uh, if you don't mind, can you tell me which year you, are, you belong to? Uh, uh, 
second year third year first year uh, that would be that would give me a better idea better insight into answering this question how important do you think are backtracking problems very important backtracking is dp dp is almost backtracking yeah uh, so i told you that we have a dp or is it dp we do, i told you that we have a drive link right drive link is uh, and also this wonderful answer we are solving dp with backtracking that's how we are solving it i would say backtracking is super important because it is we do dp with backtracking most many of the times it's very important okay uh, so the days are you are in fourth year right and you are saying um, Yes, it, it's a little difficult to solve one or two problems. I, I, I really understand. I really vibe with you. I've been, I've been, and also being in your position for a lot of time, lot of times. I think what matters is uh, one, uh, try not to care about ratings. <laughs> I, I, I'm the wrong person to tell this, but try not to care about ratings. I have really seen a better performance from myself when I don't care about rating. That's one for sure. Second, if you can solve one to two, like A and B in Div two. In div two, uh, apologies for those who don't understand what's going on here. It's going to take just thirty seconds. Just bear with us. If you if you can solve one or two questions A B in div two, in practice solve a lot of div two C's. This is going to give you a lot of confidence into solving div two C's in contest. So I would say these two things are most important. Try not to worry about trading and practice solve a lot of div two C's. That should really help you out. Okay, great. Don't don't be it's not unfortunate. Don't worry. You can learn programming anytime. Uh, Okay, so that's uh, resources. Ah, uh, guys, do you have anything, anything that you want to know at this point of time? Any questions? Uh, we'll wait for a, for a minute or so before uh, before we move on. What's my name? Uh, I'm Rishin. I'm Rishin from uh, fourth year. Uh, Regina Chase. Uh, I'm Rishin from fourth year. Okay, where is the stream going on? It's here. Oh, we're still making trade. Okay, that, that's not bad. I expected two hundred. It's not bad. What's my CGPA? <laughs> Wait, you'll be able to see my CGPA soon enough. Don't worry. A spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> but why do you want to know that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so. Seeing that we don't have any pertinent questions at the point, I think we can go on to the next one. I think we can go on to the next thing that we want to cover. Okay, LinkedIn profiles, guys. Uh, this is uh, fortunately, I would say, uh, I built my LinkedIn profile in my second year, and I think that's one of the most uh, important things that I did. Many, many, many people don't have LinkedIn profiles. They just don't have LinkedIn profiles. They don't know how important it is to have LinkedIn profiles. I'm not going to mention names, uh, but I am aware of people uh, who got uh, <laughs> amazing companies. I don't want to mention names, but who got amazing companies through through LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is so useful. It's, uh, forget about amazing companies. You have a lot of opportunities in LinkedIn. LinkedIn is like the place where you advertise yourself. Marketing is so much. You need to market every useless information on LinkedIn. If so, if, if, if it demands, you need to do it. Uh, let me get back to the question in a bit. But yeah, uh, LinkedIn is so important. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to describe with adjectives as to how important LinkedIn is. Try to I see I have I have let's say I have a postman uh, I have a postman student expert badge. Trust me, this is not that it's not that great. Okay, it's if you, you anybody can get this badge in one hour. Anybody right now, if you go to postman log log into postman uh, I mean, uh, sign up for postman student expert, they will tutor you on tutor you into how to get the badge in one hour. That's it. Do you think it's important? Do you think it's a big deal? Not really. But you know why I did this? Because I get to have a badge and put it in LinkedIn. Every small detail in LinkedIn matters. And, and another reason why I did this because of my resume. We'll get that. Resume is also important. But every small detail that you want to market, market it. Don't feel shy. If you can post ten stories in Instagram <laughs> and and not 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 care much about what you post. Why, why, why won't you? Why won't you matter? Why won't you market even the smallest things about yourself? It's about you, and you want to tell others how talented you are in various things. So market it. It's nothing wrong marketing about even the smallest thing. Putting posts in LinkedIn matter a lot. Trust me, it has it has a lot of impact. You don't know how many people see your profile, and uh, it has it has a lot of lot of impact. So please create a LinkedIn profile if you don't already have one. Pretty sure all the fourth years already have one, but if you don't. Please create one. Put in effort. Fill in all the details that LinkedIn asks you to fill. Add links, projects, references, uh, 
yeah i wanted to show you an example but uh, i don't think that will be necessary uh, you guys can just log into linkedin and type uh, anybody's name and you should be able to see good examples yourself as to how well your profile should be the idea is you have to market yourself guys a marketing marketing does play a vital role it, it, your connections your networking skills play i i don't want to i don't want to ex- i don't want to explain how networking helps because i don't think uh, it's right to explain it now for for some reasons let's just say trust me i don't want to explain but trust me it's super important you guys have no idea how important it is how important networking and uh, maintaining connections is and linkedin if it if it helps you do that come on please do it it's it's super important uh, any questions at this point of time <sighs> if we have seen a question in lead code and the interview asks us if you have seen it before how do you handle the situation so that has happened to me twice i think i said i have seen the question before i uh, personally i like to be honest in uh, interviews uh, outright honest uh, i don't see any good in being dishonest about it uh, uh, try uh, my person my person suggestion is be honest about it just tell that you have seen shows conference shows uh, shows that you are ready to take up another other question if so if, if it's that situation shows that you are going to be an honest uh, coworker i think it's a good thing to say the truth it's definitely a good thing to say the truth any time so go for the truth uh, be that which you sir if that happens consider yourself lucky and solve it like you did on lead code you practice a lot and now as a reward you ask that question that's how you should see it that is true that is true and uh, you have to see it that way uh, you have to see it that way you have to solve it but my personal suggestion addition to that would be tell the truth if they ask you if they ask you if they don't ask you don't mind they didn't ask you if you have seen it but uh, if they ever told you if you have seen this question even before they asked then yeah let, let them know i think that's the right thing to do uh, linit asks how was your interview experience for motalk so um uh, so the agenda for this meet we didn't want to dive into company specifics and uh, i don't think it's also uh, i don't think it's very I, uh, it's right for me to dive into company specifics but um uh, if your question is your question is vague uh, so if you were to ask me how was interview experience for motor i think it was a good experience so we have covered uh, we, are, we are we are going to cover and cover a lot of things do's and don'ts in interview psych and uh, and resume building and projects linkedin profiles and all that all of these added up to my experience uh in my motor interview i'm not going to say exactly how because i'm not sure if i'm allowed to go into company specific details and stuff like that but trust me uh you guys are going to get a wonderful overview as to what exactly you need to do uh, when it comes to interviewing for not just but out any any company uh it's going to help you a lot so somebody asks what is the use of references in linkedin references uh, oh references oh great thanks thanks for mentioning that uh, amazing i i totally forgot about uh, how useful references are uh let me really how useful references are the linkedin is just references you, you guys can get linkedin uh, references through linkedin i tell you why references are important let's say you want to apply for amazon let's say example amazon amazon gets how many applications do you think in, in the order of 1000 in the order of 10000s why do you think they have to go through your application why do you think they have to any user has to manually go through your application they you they may not right do you think Uh, logically speaking if you get such volumes of resumes not everybody goes through all resumes so you may ask how do they sort out the resumes then so yeah we'll go we we'll, we'll cover this in detail in resume building but short in short uh, references so they separate the resumes into two piles with reference without oh they started same w oh my god without reference okay do you see how important this is your resumes are already separated and do you think you're going to get priority if you don't have a reference not so really right unless you have a stark uh, remarkably uh, stellar profile not really so try to get uh, so linkedin is a brilliant place to dm people and ask for references there are many people who are willing to give you references if you have a good profile and that's exactly also the reason why you have to have a good profile in linkedin and that's why you have to market everything yeah it's all a good good great cycle ah uh, if you want to see my linkedin you can just go be version vignesh for linkedin and you're going to get it uh, version just like version linkedin you should probably get it but uh, i'm pretty sure there are uh, other better linkedin profiles that you can see where there is a lot more proper marketing done uh, so yeah you, you can you can you can, you can, you can figure that out oh my god they just have okay from a fourth year perspective uh, okay uh, linith asks what kind of coding questions do you ask in motor uh, okay that linith is not a question that i can answer very sorry about it uh, i i cannot get into the details about it. uh the programming okay uh, from a fourth year perspective which is important you prefer github profile or cp hmm okay from a fourth year perspective 
i think projects are important because uh, projects are important yeah projects yeah uh, that's the answer Proje i think projects are important definitely how to get those references from unknown yeah you're right uh, you're probably asking okay i'm x i have no idea who y is but i know i can get a reference from y because they work in amazon go to y's page send them a connect request they accept your request go to their go open your dms send a message to y saying hey i'm so and so i have this profile i'm really interested in working with your company and i think i'll be a great addition uh, that it would be it would mean a lot to me and uh, i'm sure you would not regret giving me a referral that's it and don't do this one person do this with 20 people at least one out of 20 people is going to respond back to you right or at least direct you into what the right thing is to do to get the reference that's all that's what you need to do and this is a this concept of common practice in linkedin so don't think it's something that uh, something very strange talking to strangers it's not strange linkedin is not a strange place yeah random talking yeah 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 you have to do random talking definitely uh, but the good thing is uh, ssn being ssn our wonderful college has uh, people uh, across all companies almost all companies so you don't have to randomly talk you can figure out which senior is working where talk to them ask them for reference and they'll be more inclined to give you because they are going to be you are going to be their junior so that is step 1 step 1 doesn't go go for random talking okay should we mention the brute force solution and interview solution even if not the optimized solution panchi we are coming to that good question we are coming to that in interview side don't worry uh, keep uh, keep yourself uh, uh, don't worry that question should be answered in just a bit okay that's about linkedin guys that's all about linkedin uh, give me a minute i have a, i have a short uh, a little bit of water before i can go to get up of course Okay, guys. Uh, I think my my audio device is disconnected. Are you still able to hear me clearly? Can I get a yes response so that I can proceed? Oh, uh, guys, can you hear me? Great. Thanks for that. Now let's go to GitHub. Okay, GitHub. Uh, what have I written? Actually, I am not going to mention anything. Okay, push all your code to Git. Git is very important. Literally, proof of your work. Yeah, it's true. It's literally proof of your work. Why should any interviewer believe? Okay, let's say uh, you are applying for a company. Your friend applies for the company. Both of you have done the same project, and both of you have applied. Your resume tells, "Hey, go to this GitHub profile and see my project there for yourself." And uh, your friend's resume doesn't say that. Who? What would you do if you are the recruiter? Who do you think you will pick? Your resume, right? Because you have proof of work proof of work is so important as well why it's important they can not just see proof of work but their proof of knowledge of how your work is they can go and get up and see the code see how clean it is see how what sort of best practices you have used in your code how detailed it is how much concepts you have uh, used in the code get so it's super important and github is also important in maintaining your code how you maintain code in fact it's uh, it's so important that github is considered a skill by many companies it's literally a skill it's a resume skill you can put skills git and it's it's really important so many companies so many big companies in fact use github because they maintain all their code in github and uh, if you don't know much about github and what github is hearing of hearing it for the first time you do some small googling of github you should, you should understand what github does so push all your code to git it's super important and yes marketing here also is very important uh, to be uh, very honest my profile is so bad at github it has zero marketing i'm not following the words i say but uh, There are some profiles that has a beautiful marketing in GitHub. I did unfortunately forget to take permission from the person who I actually wanted to show, so I really can't uh, show their profile now. But trust me, I uh, just just probably do uh, uh, marketing GitHub profiles. Google that marketing Git profiles, and you should get to know how to market GitHub profiles. So, so it's it's yeah, it's basically some HTML CSS that you have to write, but very important, guys. Very very important. Mark it's very very important. I, I'm so sorry, I can't show you an example. Very sorry about that. Okay. Uh, uh, what do we have? One second, guys. What do we have? Uh, what if we can't expose the code publicly on Git? Okay. Uh, if you can't expose the code publicly on Git, uh, we can't. We we really we we can't help it. That's 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 definitely true. We can't help it. But uh, hmm, you can always. Uh, Yeah, we we can't help it. Uh, you can always mention in your uh, resume uh, that this code piece cannot be publicly explicitly mentioned again because your resume is going to have projects which 
can which are publicly exposed to git and which are not publicly exposed to git right and uh, i think uh, i understand uh, for which particular projects neha is asking that's a damn good project by the way uh, for that i think uh, you can always mention uh, it's it's something that can't be uh, you can mention in the place where your github link comes you can mention there for this project will project alone that uh, you can't uh, i don't uh, shiva i don't think uh, that project can for well, that project you can give deployment link also i'm not sure but yeah anyways neha i don't think uh, you can always mention saying uh, this particular project can't be uh, can't be exposed publicly and the recruiters will understand from after, I, i really believe recruiters will understand from that what that means okay great uh phantom reaper as what is my github repos private should i still add it to my resume oh yeah so uh, it's almost it's almost the same question as neha asked right? both of you have private github repos you can always mention it's private for specific reasons and uh, Uh, recruiters should be able to understand what the reasons are depending on your project description and what it is used for uh, and sneha's case I, i think she understand i think you should be able to understand uh, what are use cases when you mention you mentioned use case in your project uh, project description recruiter should be able to immediately understand uh, that it's not something that can be ex- the code can't be something that can be publicly exposed okay ha ah, where are we great so we have covered Yeah, but as Shivani had said, if you can give deployment link and if that is possible, go for it. It only be third second case. If you guys have any questions, I will I will stay and answer that before we go on to projects and testability. Yeah, these these topics are going to be a breeze. Not going to take much time. But yeah, this this we have some important things like interview site to cover. Okay, guys, so projects. So projects uh, projects are important uh, from the interview perspective, definitely personal experience. uh they spent about uh, one hour asking about my projects yeah i would say one hour about asking about projects in one particular interview itself so projects are very very uh, important and it's not just you do a project and forget about it most of us do projects uh, two years before the interviews with that we take up but you really need to have a good understanding of what you're doing your project when well, you say good but anyways yeah we really need to have a good understanding of uh, uh, what you're doing your projects because uh, it shows it also shows proof of work and how in depth understanding that you have about the project you have done and ideal project in my opinion and from things that i have researched and figured out is a project that has good visual appeal it has something that the user can play with and shows depth of research and work put in uh, so this is one project that i uh, rose uh, i i wanted to show you this project uh, uh, not not saying that this project uh, has a good tick mark into all of this but i think uh, it does a little bit of justice to what it is so just to give you some idea as to this project so what i mean by Uh, when i say play with the project what i mean by it is yeah this yeah, go for it did i get a wrong link why does it not work okay this is it uh sorry it's this moment for some reason the link doesn't work okay it worked okay so yeah this is a project where you can build walls and uh, yeah, you can stop building walls and you can hit an algorithm let's say dice based up you can literally visualize how the algorithm works so this is a this is a project which has decent visual appeal uh, and it has uh, you can play around uh, you can yeah you can you can play around with the project you can do a variety of things and see how things work uh, and uh, yeah that's about it that's exactly what i wanted to show you so this is a project which uh, covers those details and uh, this is this is some i i wanted to show you this because you get an idea as to what sort of project you guys can do I believe these three checkpoints really adds value to a project. But if you believe otherwise, then go ahead. But having a project is very important. Uh, some projects will not have this. Some projects will not have this. It's fine. It's totally fine. If this is very high for those projects, it's fine. You have covered up for not having visual appeal and not and uh, not having something that you can play with. It's fine. As long as it shows depth of research and hard work, it is. It should be fine. Okay. So. uh this is something that i usually do so when i want to learn a new concept i learn the concept through udemy courses and i convert that to a project i just do some project with it and if it comes out well great i can add it to my resume if it doesn't great again i just learned something to do with the content that i know uh yeah i showed you an example amazing so that's about projects uh follow me on instagram denithin balaji okay that's okay that's good advertisement denithin balaji well done <laughs> okay okay let's go to uh, resume building Uh, yeah what about resumes yes uh, guys if you are good at projects good at github profiles good at linkedin profiles know a lot of cpa have good prep in uh, interviews but you messed up your resume 
you are not going to make it to the first round where they shortlist you based on resume. The 60 out of 400, I told you, they sometimes this the resume round. If they don't short, shortlist your resume, what's the point? You can't even show your skills in the next rounds because you didn't get shortlisted. Having a good resume matters. And it. Uh, these are some keywords for people who don't know. This is something that I heard from my seniors. I don't know how authenticated this is, but these are keywords that I try to have in my resume because uh, resumes by big companies are usually parsed. And what I mean by that is it is not seen directly by humans. They are seen by computers and computers segregate based on keywords. This is considered a good keyword. This is a good keyword. This is a good keyword. This is a good keyword. You might wonder why master is a keyword. Master is a keyword because in CP Codeforce has these, uh, you know, things called uh, candidate master, master, international master, grand master, uh, international grand master, legendary master. Master is an amazing indication that you are really good at what at computer programming. Yeah, so that's the thing. Project College is a website. Google it. Uh, I don't want to cover it now. Uh, Hacker Rank Scholarship. Yeah, you get the idea, right? So. When it comes to resumes, you have to understand the difference between beauty and necessity. Sometimes you want to make your resume beautiful. Sometimes you want to add a lot of content. You need to strike a good balance at this. I'll give you an example. Something that's a little bit stylish, something that's absolutely not stylish. And I'll tell you which one is better. And for when. Uh, strictly one page. Guys, uh, hands down one page. Come on. I'm not going to stress upon this. It's strict. Uh, you, it has to be one page. Uh, don't ever make a resume with two pages. Uh, these are words, not my words, my seniors' words, and we and me and I've been following me, my, my friends and me have been following it to the to the point, and I've been I'm just relaying it back to you guys. It has to be one page because people are going to just throw away your resume with more than one page. Okay, not quite literally, but you don't want to decrease your chances by having a resume with just two pages. Keep it one page, please keep it one page. And uh, yeah, I'll give you an example. I'll tell you, stylish version resumes are good for startups, are good for companies where you think a person is going to see, a human is going to see your resume. And those times, stylish resumes are good. Otherwise, if you're applying for big multinational companies, companies which hire in large numbers, a simple version example resume, simple version resume is better because they get parsed better. The computer parses the resume 10 times better than a resume which doesn't look simple. So have a simple resume. I'll give you a short example. This is my resume which looks somewhat stylish. Let's close this. It looks somewhat stylish, right? Okay, it's probably not the best resume out there, which looks very, very stylish. I get it, but come on. It doesn't do the thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to do it. Okay, good. So it looks somewhat stylish. In fact, because of the styles, I can't add a lot of content. For example, I don't have my third project here. I don't have some of my awards here. I don't have, yeah, I have school here. But yeah, you get the idea, right? Somewhat stylish, but this is the resume that you want to have. Because uh, what I was in, this is the type of resume that you want to have. Uh, because it's not that stylish, it is black and white, it covers, it has a lot of space for covering a lot of details. It has at least 40% more details than this resume. Oh my god, my, oh my earphones is running out of battery and I hope you can finish this soon. When I'm sorry of battery, you guys are not going to be able to hear me. Okay, uh, that aside, so this is the type of resume that you want to have in terms of style when you apply for uh, big companies. When you don't apply, you can have this. When you hand out a resume uh, in live interviews, try to have a resume that looks up even. So if you have time, make both versions. If you don't, make this version first. What happened? It's not working. Okay, some reason it's not working. Computer just gets stuck. Don't do this to me now, please. Okay, some reason my computer is misbehaving. We'll wait for two more minutes. Uh, great, it's back. Great. Okay, so let's look at the questions. Uh, is it worth to spend time on your old projects to improve it for visual appeal? No, not really. Not worth it. Make a new project. I, I don't think it's worth it. If you think it's worth it, if you think your visual appeal is going to make a drastic difference, go for it. But I tell you why. I think it's not worth it because you'll have to relearn a lot of things you learned at that time. You might have forgotten what, what happens there. Because of those things, I think it's, it might not be that worth it of your time. But if you think it, may, it will make a great difference, go for it. How important is CGP and college stuff? There are some companies that uh, shortlist you based on CGPA, but they are not very explicit about it. Uh, so try to maintain 8 plus or 7 plus. That should do. Don't uh, have less CGPA that doesn't even let you sit for placements. 7 plus, I think that's the threshold for usual. That's usually the threshold, I feel. Okay, great. Next one. Are you getting, getting the top 3% or so in project level? Where is statistic visible? Because I have solved a few questions. Uh, Gokulan, uh, can I get back to you on this uh, through? Uh, DM, you can DM me this and I'll tell you how to get see the statistics. 
could you mention the website that you use for building a resume like this oh thanks a lot uh, how did i miss that i don't know how i missed that it's called overleaf.com guys overleaf.com this is the website overleaf.com oh my god my battery is low okay i'm just hoping it's gonna stay ah uh, this is the website guys overleaf.com i'm rushing because my battery is low apologies statistics two problems oh somebody just told you how to do it great okay 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 great great great, great. Uh, be, 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 be. what is the project now interview psych yeah this is one of the most important things that you have to cover uh so when it comes to interview psych uh, uh guys when you are in an interview and you are being interviewed by a person this is most important quite literally what i've been doing for the last one and a half hours keep talking you cannot afford to be quiet because if you are quiet that one minute is enough for the person to get bored and if an interviewer gets bored of you that's it you don't you know that's the last thing you want to happen and keep You, you how do you even think okay like the interview you know difficult problem how do you keep talking right think okay that's how it, uh, this is how it goes you, you need to talk out loud you need to be like okay so i'm solving this kind of problem and these are the constraints that are given to me Guys, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm back. I am guessing I'm back. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm back, guys. I, I hope you hear me. I really hope you can hear me. And how, how, how are you doing? Should I be more ordered? Or am I ordered enough? Ah. Ah, can 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 you hear me, guys? Okay. Uh, what about now? Is it uh, okay? Actually, you not. Know Are we writing things? Are you? Uh, let's go to. Ah, uh, what about now, guys? Is this better? Are you able to hear me clearer? Not so feeble. Is it? Is it audible now? What about now? still feeble is it still feeble oh clear it's better now okay that's great uh, i hope this uh, okay that's that's amazing ah uh, thanks a lot so uh, i'm sorry i'm getting a bit of lag so i'm responding to you i'm uh, probably responding to you guys faster or uh, how can it be faster uh, probably a bit later apologies but i think uh, fan i'm not able to hear uh. Okay, uh, there are so many people telling that it's clear. So, guys, I think I I think I can proceed, right? Uh, can I can you just type proceed because I don't know for which question of mine you are responding. If you can, if you type proceed, I'll proceed with my with the demonstrations. Okay, I got confirmation from the team that it's good. So, in that case, uh, I think I, I I will proceed. Alrighty, let's let's go back. Okay, so this is how we start, right? The most important part, point of this entire discussion. Good, we got small, small, small uh, funny break. 
but we are back to it okay so interview psych this is something that yeah what, what we saying we saying don't keep quiet yeah exactly don't don't have the, don't exactly do whatever i did in the last 2 minutes if you are quiet the, the you spoil the entire point point of a, imagine okay let's let's imagine you are the interviewer you are interviewing 10 people that day in an entire day that's about 10 hours of interviewing and you see a candidate who is quiet while he thinks he is quiet for 20 minutes while he thinks and you see a candidate who is thinking out loud who do you think you would be inclined to listen to and help obviously the candidate who is being all energetic or who's been talking the entire time who's talking out loud who you can under, who you can literally understand what he's thinking and if he's not going in the right track you will be prompted to give him clues cues so that he goes back to the right track and the quiet candidate can never do this because the interviewer doesn't know what he's thinking he's probably thinking about building castles in his dream who knows the interviewer doesn't know anything if you can't talk out loud you are already losing 50% of the interview game quite literally and that's a major issue uh, okay thanks a lot for that great that's a major issue and we want to avoid that by all means so this is super important let me stress how important this is it's that important okay very important Yes, it's font seventy to eleven important. Okay, catch out on deliberate question gaps. So this is one more thing interviewers do. They don't give you the entire details. So they give you only fifty percent of the question. Wantedly, they just want to see if you can get the questions right. So this is some, this is the skill that they are testing. They are testing that if you can get all the requirements correct before proceeding to solve the question. This is a software develop software engineering skill that they want to test by asking questions. So if they if they, if you find it fishy, they don't give you, they don't even give you constraints in the question. Ask them for constraints. They don't even give you major question details of the questions. Ask them. Clear all your doubts before proceeding, and that is super important. Uh, look out for cues from the interviewer. I already mentioned this. Interviewers will definitely always help you, and if they have to help you, you have to help them by talking, talking out your entire brain. Just just speak, just keep speaking whatever comes to your mind. Exactly. I'm just I'm just talking. What is just coming out of my mind right now, right? Just just do that. Just just speak. It's fine. It might sound funny now, but it it really really helps. It makes a lot of difference. Do that. Ah, so yeah, every most interviews will have this question at the end. Do you have any questions? They ask like that. So at that point of time, don't think, don't be like, okay, this is my time to shine. So how do you think I did the interview? Ah, uh, Abdi, now don't ask. That's the last thing you want to ask an interviewer. That doesn't show good respect. That doesn't show good maturity. You shouldn't ask that. You shouldn't ask your interview performance uh, when they ask you if you have any questions. Instead, have a nice thing to ask. Ask about the company. Ask about their experience in the company. Ask about anything. It's not something I've given much thought into, so I don't have nice ideas in my mind right now. But ask about anything. Have something in mind and ask about anything. And uh, point number five: get to know about the company. Because let's say, let's say the interviewer asks you something about the company does or references something that the company does, and you are like, eh, what, what, what? I don't really get what you're saying. That shows that shows bad uh, impression. That immediately gives bad impression to the uh, to the interviewer, and that's the last thing that you want to have on the interviewer. This thing somebody asked, right? I think Swift Green asked, Swift Grass asked this question. So solutions for any coding question that's asked in an interview, this is a must. I know people who have lost out on interviews just because they didn't follow this. Literally, quite literally, they didn't follow this. That's why. So that's how important this is. Solutions should be built up from scratch, one by one. Even if you know, if you look at the questions, I'm like, oh my god, this is my luckiest day. I know the solution for it immediately. Let me just blurt it out. No, don't do that. You do not want to do that. Because that's going to give you negative points. You need to give the stupid solution first, the brute force solution. Give the brute force solution. Be like, oh, okay, I can optimize this. Optimize the solution. Uh, okay, you are like, okay, I can further optimize this. And then finally, with the grand reveal, drum roll, give the most optimal solution. Yeah, this is this is how it works. It might sound funny, but that's how it works. Don't give the optimal brute force solution at the start. Uh, this is also a software engineering skill they are testing. They are testing incremental programming. Uh, can you incrementally build solutions? Can you incrementally solve problems? That's why they are testing. And if you are scoring zero on that, that's not a good. That's not a good thing. Trust me. Okay. Any questions? No. Let's continue. Uh, guys, know your projects well. I already mentioned this while covering projects. You need to know your projects well. Uh, and point number eight. Uh, that's a nice thing to always do. Take mock interviews. Even though you think, okay, I can handle any interview in this world. Ah, uh, not really. Take a mock interview with your friend, any friend or your uh, your your co your parents, anyone. Take a mock interview with them uh, through Google Meet or anything, and uh, tell them to be the interviewer. You be the interviewee, or you you do the mock interview for them. It's it's always better. Trust me, uh, it's really really better, guys. Uh, you just trust me. Taking one small mock interview will always help. Okay, guys, do you have any questions at this point of time? Any questions? 
I'll wait 30 seconds for questions before going on to roadmap. Okay, I think there's uh, definitely lag. I'll wait, I'll wait for 30 seconds before I can go, go on to roadmap. Okay, uh, seeing none, let's proceed. Let's go on to roadmap. Uh, this is something that I uh, created last bit yesterday because uh, uh, many people ask this question, what do I do? I'm just starting out, uh, I'm in my second year. Somebody from first year uh, asked me, am I too late to do programming? That was the star highlight question. Okay, okay we have questions, my bad. Uh, what if we don't have good projects on our resume? Do we stand a chance? Definitely you stand a chance, so what? The projects are a great thing, but they are not the one game changing thing. They are not going to change your entire uh, interview experience or your coding round, uh, coding round results. They are not going to do that. Uh, yeah, my, yeah, my chat is lagging, definitely lagging. Uh, I'll try to, I'll try to uh, pace myself down to accommodate the lag. Uh, apologies for this time. And uh, yeah, so sons of the, let's call it therapy. Therapy, uh, what if we don't have good projects? It's fine, it's totally fine, but try, try to have good projects. They make a difference but not a game changing difference, but they make a difference. Swift Grass, I like, if I'm all like that name, I don't know why. What kind of projects are useful keywords in the resume? Useful keywords, uh, projects not are not really keywords, they don't translate to keywords, but the project should be in such a way that it shows your depth of knowledge in a particular concept. That would be really helpful. Those kind of projects will be, will be helpful. Uh, John Wicked Boy logged out from Reginald Chase. So you're saying John Wicked Boy, Reginald Chase are the same advertisement boy. Is that what you're saying? Off topic, but that was funny for a second. Anyways, uh, seeing, I keep the questions open. So you, every time I see the questions, I'll immediately answer, at least for when I cover this uh, agenda. But yeah, roadmap. Uh, guys, if you're in your first year and you're like, uh, what do I do? Where do I start? How do I do CP? Uh, what do I target? What do I do? If you're in your first year, come on. Go to A2J ladders, do 11 to 16. I just showed you A2J, right? I showed you A2J somewhere, somewhere, somewhere here. Do 11 to 16, uh, do uh, for 4 to, uh, not, I mean, 22 to 27. Do it. You have all the time in the world. Who is stopping you from doing complex programming? Nobody is stopping you. Uh, do 10 problems, 15 problems a day. It might sound big. Even, trust me, for me, one problem a day was so hard at one point of time. Trust me, uh, it was very hard. But uh, there was there were peak times when I was able to do 10 to 15 problems a day and come to 100, 200 problems a month. That, that's what you'll be, you should be aiming for. And it's possible. Guys, uh, I, I don't want to mention names, but I'm aware of some, some people uh, not going to mention if they are from our college or not too, but I know somebody who solved 1000 problems in 3 months. If somebody can do it, definitely anybody can. And uh, all that they did was this 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 22, 23, 24, that's what they did. And they saw massive results. If you want to do the same thing, go for it. Oh, nobody is stopping you. If 3 months can make such a big difference in your life, why am I doing that? I don't see why you, why you should not do that. This is, this is what I mean by low effort, high reward. I, I wouldn't say this low effort. This is tremendously high effort, but low time, high reward. Time is also a lot of, it's a currency uh, at this age. And if you can invest three months and give fantastic results, go for it guys. Why, why should you stop? And what should you do is, get the ladders, code forces, do all the contests, dip the dip to focus, upsolve, this is basically solving one unsolved question after every contest. Go to art coder, do all the contests, ABC is your focus. Projects can be focused later down the line. CP is your primary uh, primary goal if you are if you are in your first year. If you are taking the, yeah, if you taking the CP route, I'm not going to go into the two routes, CP route, development route, or some go there. Not now, but yeah, this is the CP route. And this is the go to learn touch typing. This is very overlooked. This is overlooked. It's just, trust me, it's very overlooked, but game changer. Touch timing is a game changer, guys. It's a game changer. It's a skill. I, I, if I if I knew touch coding, I, you know, I tried for a month and I was really bad at it. I was not able to change my irrelevant information, but uh, my, my idea was to do marketing with it. I wanted to put it in LinkedIn. I wanted to put it in my resume saying, I know touch typing. I am 100 WPM, blah, 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 but I'm not. Uh, I tried to, but touch timing is a game changer. Game changer when you're coding. You can really, can really do wonders if you know touch typing. If you're in your first year, you have all the time in the world. Come on, come on, stop wasting time and do touch typing. I know I'm the, I'm the last person who should be saying this because I waste a lot of time, but uh, you really need to do a lot of touch typing, guys. It's really, really, really useful. Okay, let us see the questions. 
um, can you please repeat on the give thing, the brute force solution first before the optimized solution part? Like, uh, is it while coding the question or when you asked to explain the question orally? So, so let's say you're given a question which involves uh, when you're solving the question. Basically, you are solving the question and you immediately get the brute force solution. Get it in your mind. Give it. When you explain the solution, when you explain that brute force solution, give, when you explain the solution for the question that they gave you, give the brute force solution first. That's what you should be trying to do. And uh, you you will not be explained to uh, you will not be expected to explain the question that they gave you. That's not going to happen. So second part of your question is already null and void. Uh, okay. Uh, how important are internships in the placement process? In, okay. Uh, so uh, I believe uh, when it comes to internships, internships are a proof of concept again. Pro not proof of concept. Sorry. Proof of work. It shows that you have interned at a place where uh, uh, you have shown uh, 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 work results, you have achieved X, Y, Z, you have worked in a team. Because guys, working in an internship is a whole different thing than uh, uh, than working at college and doing coding coding things. You are there working in a team, you are trying to solve problems together. That's a whole lot of uh, things that people are looking for in a person. So interviews do add really good merits to your uh, resume but again they are not game changers definitely not game changers if you have marquee interviewers uh, uh, marquee uh, uh, inter internships they are game changers because they show that if let's say google hired you for an intern you are a good enough candidate a possible candidate that can even be hired by any other marquee it shows it shows proof that you are good enough to be hired anywhere that, that's how it converts otherwise they are not game changers Okay, surprisingly, we get a lot of questions now. Uh, how should it, okay, I think I missed some question. Okay, uh, where, where, we, uh, where can we get that code forces link you showed? I showed some code forces link. Uh, what link? I showed a lot of code forces links. What link are you talking about? This link, I talking about A2J. With A2J, you can share it to you uh, immediately. Somebody from the team can share it to you immediately, quite, quite literally. Uh, how should an absolute beginner for CP proceed with preparation? I'm going to third year. Yeah, yeah, we're coming, we're coming to that. Uh, yeah, 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 we're coming to that. How do you manage your time though? <laughs> I, I, sorry, uh, players are asking the worst possible person you can ask that question. I, I have uh, very bad time management skills. Sorry about that. I'm not the right person to answer that question. Where do you learn test typing online? Uh, um, there are a couple of websites. I tried TouchBR and another website I forgot, but I'll just Google. Google first three links. That should that should do. If there was an easy answer to that question, is everyone would be in big companies. <laughs> True. Uh, it's really good for practicing touch typing. Why 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 is it starred out? Okay, I don't know why. You can learn in online for free. Okay, you guys are just helping out each other. That's amazing. Uh, it's, 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 uh, let's look at second years. Okay, for that quick reality check. 345 not bad man not bad second years okay so second years uh, guys uh, it's the same thing it's the same old thing just saw it in the previous slide same literally the same but hey that's the difference projects can be focused later down the line but now we are in your second year it's not later down the line because in third year when your third year starts you're going to be bombarded with your intern drive when your fourth year starts you're going to be bombarded with your placement drive so it's no longer uh, old school times uh, you need to start you need to think about uh, dedicate some time to your projects uh, and do Two good projects. Adikana don't dedicate three months. I am going to do the world's best project. I will do it for three months. Hey, that's 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 bad usage of time. Come on, uh, work work smart. Uh, you need to put in correct effort and transform it into great results. So pick a good project. Pick a good time to do it. Personally, you know when I do it, uh, whenever I feel down, I feel down a lot of times when I do CP. Only when I do CP that happens because CP really demotivates me so many times. So when I be like, hey, CP, you don't get the CP. Let's do something else in life. Whenever I feel those kind of things, that's when I personally do it. I'm not trying to do the same thing, but uh, give me some ideas. Do it at times when you feel absolutely bored, you have nothing to do in life. Just just do a project at the time. It's going to help you leaps and bounds. Good projects are going to help you a lot. So try to do that. We already covered a lot of projects. Uh, in your second year, it's a very good time to create a resume. Very good time to create LinkedIn. Very good time to create GitHub. Yeah, say it's a very good time. Let's add one more thing. Participate. Mm. Why am I in caps? I don't know. Why am I still in caps? I don't know. Participate in symposiums. Okay. Very important. Participate spelling? Oh, okay. No, no. Participate in symposiums. Comes around Jan to Feb. Jan to March. I'm not going to go over what symposiums are. Figure that out. But 
past period symposiums have to have to have to have to get the exposure uh, in second year and even here yes okay uh, let's 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 let us uh, see the chat 10 fast fingers yeah uh, eight really ladders we have shared the two links team thanks team uh, companies usually come for internship in the second half of the third year no they come in the first half of the third year they come in uh, one two three four fifth step they come in fifth step immediately into the third year they come third year kula vilundona they come it's like that that is okay and tappana keep kula seri edho one yeah they come immediately that's the point okay so <laughs> Uh, off topic but yeah can a student try for both placements and higher studies through college hmm very off topic can you please take this uh, off topic because i don't I, i don't want to take up this question uh, here right now you can take this up on dm so uh, definitely message me and, uh, or any one of us we will be happy to answer the question okay why is this nadula let's keep it in the side okay great uh, third years uh, since you are in your third year right now uh in the beginning of the third year you are going to be bombarded with your what uh, i just told you what is it what is it what is the intern drives and at that time if you are just starting out with cp or even otherwise you are a very cp veteran code lead code focus on lead code go to aptitude questions focus on core aptitude questions we already told you why this is important go to interview bit do interview bit questions dbm so is brush up brush up and brush you 17 let's we'll check okay so by second years i mean into just into second year by third year i'm being by third year i mean just into third year by fourth year i mean just into fourth year and by first year i mean just into first year uh and later again later your practice continues normal practice just the same yada yada, yada. forgot to mention 800 questions and problems a day small change yada yada, yada. projects to go on your plate will be handy same thing target 400 plus questions 3 to 4 five problems a day and the problems are uh, the numbers are changing because you have different priorities now that's why it's changing okay that's why it's changing Uh, are you asking me because uh, I'm coughing every now and then? TM my Jack. Uh, I'm not vaccinated. I'm planning to vaccinate this week. Very off topic, but I wanted to answer that question. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, what is the difference between second year and third year? Third year, 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 third Uh, we can have the discussion uh, in we can have a discussion in spam chat of the our coding community we have, we have this beautiful coding community group in discord 400 people are there you can ask all of these questions there we we love it out to answer those questions okay for fourth years uh, i am personally in my fourth year so what can i say i can only say no i can't say much but what i personally believe is uh, right now since the placement drive is going on lead code questions are important we have uh, told you what uh, uh, is important aptitude questions are high focus uh, questions we really need it interview bit questions are good uh, design rounds watch youtube videos target lower for our concepts we covered it all uh okay ah uh, thanks for each thanks for your kind words uh okay so where are we uh, uh yeah let's go to form questions so we had a lot of questions through form i have answered all the pertinent questions here but i don't think no anybody here has the patience to go through all of these questions if i were to go through one by one i'm going to do it but i don't think all 350 people here would be willing to do it so what we're going to do is i have literally answer all the questions i the, these are all answers to the questions so i what we will do is we will share this uh, link with you guys if you had asked a question your question just find it uh, do control f and find the question here and you will find the answer i think that that works right i think that should work the resources we have covered the resources oh uh, new cake uh, you don't have the discord link for our coding community that, that's very sad we will definitely share that link with you more, more the merrier okay so now uh, if you uh, since uh, we have almost at 610 we i really imagined it to go to 610 uh wait a second let me just check if i have mentioned some stupid things uh, uh in the uh, sorry not stupid things i have forgot to mention some important things with the team uh, okay Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, so that's another thing. So that I remembered. So in case uh, you guys uh, feel you guys don't like the competitive aspect of competitive programming, we I get it. I we all of us get it. We don't want to be uh, run this rat race with any anybody else. We already did this rat race when preparing for the IITs and NITs. We don't want to do that again. It's very pressurizing uh, stuff like that. 
you don't want to do it no problem don't do it don't run the rat race you practice but at an anonymous account you guys have wonderful account names like plagius like noob cake like what swift uh, what swift grass use those account names nobody is going to know who you are and go for it <laughs> 60 seconds over <laughs> Okay guys, uh, we have we have almost reached the end of our presentation. Do you guys have any a uh, specific uh, questions that <laughs> questions that you guys want to answer? I'd love to answer. I'd be staying around for another ten more minutes. Do you guys have any specific questions? You can always uh, what find me at uh, Instagram, Brishan Vivi. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can also you guys you can find me in the Discord Coding Club Discord community. I am really active there. Uh, that's close to heart. Yeah, you can you can always uh, you can always get back to me or anybody else from the ACM fam. We are we are always we would love to get back to you, but uh, we'll all be here for a few more minutes. I think we have reached the end of our discussion. You have this is just the Q and A session. Do you guys have anything that you want to <laughs> ask us? Guys, so cool. Let's go easy on that kid. Uh, uh, I would suggest unmute him. We have almost reached the ending of our uh, session. Uh, Power me is. So, do you guys, do you guys have any questions? Any last last minute things that you want to uh, want to ask? Go for it. Uh, I would love to answer. Uh, yeah, you you'll get the resources links. The doc uh, is the plan. That's the plan. Actually, uh, we will share the uh, we'll share the notebook uh, itself. Uh, I'm guessing the notebook should be. Uh, let me just check. Just a second. Let me just let me just check it uh, uh, in live. Can I open one note uh, books? One note books. Don't have my computage. Okay. Uh, don't know if you want to remember me for some zip there. Don't put a open. I don't have this. Uh, okay. Okay, so one note is there available on Android. So chill about that. You can always. I just have the one note uh, PDF, and you guys should be able to access it. Hundred percent should be able to access it. If there is some difficulty, let us know. Uh, that should be done. Uh, uh, it should. It should not. It should not be an issue. So uh, we will share this entire. This entire thing. You guys can. You guys can have full access to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Vera says there is one note web. So no issues there. You guys can. You guys will be able to access it. Okay. So what do we have? Somebody says thanks. Still, th thanks for the kind words. It's always nice to hear. Uh, practice chat link we already shared before. If you check the chat, if you haven't, no issues. We'll be sharing the entire one more book link. You can always check it from there. One question, bro. Will these marquee companies prefer undergrads or even postgrads too? If so, will the interview procedure be same for Google, Facebook, etc.? Uh, marquee companies, uh, uh, yeah, they 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 uh, hire uh, undergrads and post postgrads also, but uh, the interview process won't be the same. You, they'll be looking for <coughs> for different things. For different aspects, like they'll be looking for experience, what sort of maturity you would need to have as a four plus year developer if you are a post grad, or um, if an undergrad, they will uh, you know uh, reduce the amount of uh, uh, what experience and uh, maturity they expect from you. It will be different, but I, but I personally don't know how different. I'm not sure. I'm very sorry about that. I'm not sure how different, but I'm pretty sure it will be definitely different. Okay. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot, uh, KP. That is a fair kind of words. Uh, access the link. Okay, I can't access the form. Which tech stack do you think using in project will be most appealing to companies? So now, uh, PKK. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do a very biased answer here because I love JavaScript. So I'm going to say the Mern stack. But uh, anything, anything that. So it, the question is based on a company. Depending on the company. Uh, Depending on the company, it's going to differ. So Google, you don't want to tell them they are using uh, React, right? Because React is made by Facebook. You want the mean stack. But uh, I think I personally think Node.js and JavaScripts are good places to. Uh, Node.js is a very good backend tool, and for front end, uh, any framework should do React, uh, Aria, or um, uh, what um, Angular, Vue, anything. Th th those are good things to do. Uh, but see again, uh, I never even uh, went into MLAI type of projects and companies. That's because I have very little to none experience in that. So for those things, uh, feel free to contact the uh, technical head of uh, uh, ACM. Uh, he he'll love to help you out on those things. He's really enthusiastic about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll send the notebook link. Don't worry. 
th- thanks, thanks a lot, Nimcake. Uh, uh, that that's nice. Thanks a lot, Swiftgrass. I, I don't know why Swiftgrass seems to be a beautiful name. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Winky needs to thank me for this. <laughs> thanks a lot, my God. Thanks a lot. <laughs> any any questions, guys? Any last minute questions that you? Uh, thank you, Fluffy Kira. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kira. Thanks, Ponji. Thanks, Peaks. Okay, there's a lot of thanks coming. I can't thank everybody. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot, everyone, for your kind words. And uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, uh, we would love to answer those questions for you. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, uh, ACM. Thanks for uh, my. Thanks for this beautiful team. Thanks for print. Thanks to the principal HOD. And um, so Zad and Sir for giving me this opportunity to help you guys all out. I hope it helped you guys all out. I'm not sure, but I hope I really hope it did. That was the idea of this entire. That's the point of this entire ACM meet. We we are planning session for future meets, future sessions like this, uh, which should, uh, which we want to conduct to help you guys out. Stay tuned to the ACM page. So uh, I'm gonna do marketing for <laughs> the coding club as well. Stay tuned to the coding club too. <laughs> so. Yeah, so all of us here uh, would love to help you guys out and we would do our best to do so. Thanks a lot guys, thanks for all the kind words, uh, it really means a lot. Uh, somebody asks, okay, I am a fourth year from IT, I don't know anything, I'm just scrap. You're not scrap, nobody is scrap. Can I target for super dream job by starting the development? Definitely you can. Uh, trust me, trust me. Okay, uh, since, since you, you seem to be really demotivated, trust me, uh, uh, there is you, you need to google this guy called Clement okay Clement Clement uh, Michelsack I think that's what his name is uh, if you don't mind I can even uh, share his profile you know what uh, uh, since you, you feel you you seem to be demotivated and I'm really upset reading that message I'll show you Clement uh, Clement Clement Michel I don't know what his name is yes this guy so this guy uh, is now a multimillionaire he is uh, he is uh, what he is uh, he did not learn coding till he finished college. You are in your fourth year, but this guy did not learn college uh, coding till he finished college. He finished college, he finished masters. He doesn't know a word of coding, and yet he is an ex Google, ex Facebook. He is an amazing coder because you know what he did? He disappeared for six months. That's all. To change anything in your life, disappear for six months, do something, and you will see, see that you see fantastic results after six months. So, yeah, I'm not telling you it's going to take you six months, uh, Thor, it's not going to, but uh, this is giving you an idea. Uh, don't, don't be, don't feel bad. Uh, you can definitely, you can definitely target for Super Dream and even higher. Uh, just, just, uh, just trust the process and you should be seeing brilliant results. Hey, some, uh, hey guys, thanks, thanks for all those kind words. Uh, uh, that's very nice to know. Uh, okay, Discord link was shared. That's great. Anything else? Uh, we'll be we'll be here, guys. Uh, so, uh, so uh, uh, yeah. So, anything else? Hey, no problem, Thor. I, I think I think that was pertinent. You needed to hear that. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I think I think we have covered everything from our side. Uh, we'll be we'll be hanging out here for another fifteen more minutes. Uh, oh, thanks thanks a lot to the programming guy. Thank thank you so much. Uh, we'll be we'll be hanging out here for another few more minutes and. Uh, uh, we'll be there for the ones who have questions towards the end. Uh, but uh, we'll be, we are officially, officially closing the ACM event. Feel free to leave. Uh, we are done for the day. If you have questions, feel free to ask. We'll be there for another 10 more minutes. Uh, thanks again guys. Uh, where to access your materials, links, notes, uh, we will we will send the link uh, for that. We will try to email all of you guys or we will put it to the discord group. We will do either one of the two things. Uh, or we will we'll also put it in the Instagram page. We will do something but we will we'll make sure we get the materials. Don't worry about it. Uh, if we forget, which we 100% won't, you can always uh, uh, bug us and uh, make sure we do it as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, 
uh, yeah, we will try to get uh, by tonight for sure. Uh, yeah, Manisha, we will try to get the. Uh, I'm not very sure if we can uh, we can make the recorded video public. Not too sure about it, but I the team will get back to you on that. Um, what is the logical order to follow? Learn. They are uh, just so much concepts, but don't know where to start. Start. Don't worry about so much concepts. Start with the most basic concepts. Start with prefix sums. Uh, if you want to learn the logical order in which you have to solve, uh, by the way, MJG, it would be uh, easy for me to answer this question if you tell me which year you belong to. Okay, so the video will be made public on Twitch. Oh, that's, that's I didn't know that. Even I didn't know that. Oh, that's great. So if it's going to be made public, uh, I would love to be made it public because that will help a lot more people who, who by 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 chance miss the meet. <laughs> I am back for twenty six hundred uh, dollars. Th thanks a lot, guys. Uh, thanks for your kind words. Mm -hmm. seem to have 182 people <laughs> if you guys have questions feel free to go okay sorry sorry mgg i just saw your uh, reply and sons of therapy also replied i'm uh, very sorry uh, so uh, answering to mgg what is the logical order to follow to learn um, okay so i would really recommend you seeing uh, meet one of this year and uh, meets one two three if you're, if you're in first year mgg you should be uh, i would really suggest you attend all coding club meets we have we have been uh, very very thoroughly and uh, very properly covering all the uh, details especially your question but don't worry we have recorded i think meet one three four <laughs> it was my fault i forgot to press uh, record button in meet two but yeah meet one three four uh, definitely check it out and that should answer your question sons of the happy uh, 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 by the way, uh, where, where do you take this name from? It seems to be from some game, I don't know to recognize, recognize where. So, uh, just let me know that also. Off topic, but uh, sorry, I couldn't help. Sons of the Happy, so you are in third year and you want the same question. I think Sons of the Happy, if you are in third year, for now, concentrate on lead code, as I said, like uh, here, uh, roadmap, yeah, concentrate on lead code for your uh, coming up intern drive, aptitude questions, DBMS, OS, brush up those things. But later, do this. This is important. Do the exact same thing. Just you, you know, you know what? You you literally don't need to know anything in computer programming. You just have to go to this beautiful website, Ladder's website. Start with this. Just start with this. This is the entrance, and this should be your end. Wherever as high as you can go, that should be your end. That should that should that should do good. That should do great things. <laughs> I see a very controversial question in the chat now, which I don't know how to answer, but I'll try to answer. When is the next coding club meet? Uh, don't worry, we'll schedule it as soon as possible. Uh, promise, we'll schedule it as soon as possible. Is medium problems in lead code enough for marking interviews, mainly for online coding channels? Uh, o, B, E, D, manual. I'm, I'm unfortunately, uh, I don't think so. I think you need both medium and hard. Try hard. Try hard. Hard should be hard should be more uh, essential for marking than medium. Is what I feel. Is what I feel. But uh, medium also helps. Uh, it, it definitely helps. Uh, not even, not even. Uh, there is no doubt about it. But uh, hard has some lead code. Hard has some sort of magic. Uh, I don't know how 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 would I even get six questions out of the first forty questions I did. That's definitely strange. I think there is some something going on with lead code hard. There's something really going on there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, MJG said thank you. Good. Uh, Harsha, I don't know if answered. Uh, hmm. Uh, Rubadin, zero one. You saw that. That sounds like a, a what a vaccine name? Rubadin. What are the ways to contact you, like personally or some someone uh, who can help? Uh, yeah, just do this. You can just uh, hit Rishi Mivi Instagram, or and uh, you can you can you can get my number through 
uh, any uh, mother what you tell on the fan sorry about that uh, and it what uh, you can you can always message me through whatsapp you you can see my number in the coding club group you can message me in discord uh, we'll love to help you out it's got oh got i'm not watched got got it also about a to j that won't give me ratings right so on top of a to j ladders i'll have to participate in contest that's why that's why that's exactly that's a good question but that's exactly why this point comes into play in not just third years in second years and also in first years without contests you can never really put what you learn to practice you can't so contests are important <laughs> i didn't guess thanks a lot i didn't guess uh i i see how much uh, you, uh, you you harbor ill feelings towards the moderator okay let's see how many of you guys are still lingering on 18 wow okay Teachers are on the session. Oh, oh, what? That's news to me. I hope you can tell these crucial information to me before the meet starts. But anyways, oh my god. Sure, why not? Uh, uh, so, uh, don't think that. Um, uh, so, Kathar asks to. He's in the fourth year, and uh, he if he can manage Super Dream within a short span of time. So, Harish, uh, to repeat that question, uh, uh, since since Thor was so down, I had to mention about Clement to him. Clement was this guy who uh, didn't do coding at all his entire life until he finished masters or at least his undergraduate. He didn't, he didn't touch write a single line of code. but after that he found interest and banished 6 months did coding every day like a mad guy he got into google he got into facebook he created a multi million company that's it change your life vanish for 6 months and that should really make a difference i'm not telling you have to vanish for 6 months but uh, i really think uh, uh uh anybody can learn coding at any point of time if you have you spend the enough time you know if you spend enough time into it and effort and uh, definitely you can target uh, target for uh, super dreams uh i even if you are at your fourth year right now when you haven't started coding just put in the effort as much as possible and it should it should uh, it should convert into results and if you, even if it doesn't it's not going to take long before it does and that's a fact 100% a fact don't worry hey um So, uh, Thor, I also gave you the order in which the topics, the important topics, right? See, dynamic programming most hardest, uh, most important prefix next important, two pointers next most important, binary search. The order is this decreasing importance. So you can start off dynamic programming for starters, but you can even go with prefix ones. All of these topics are very very important. So you can you can also go by what you're targeting. If you're targeting for super dream, go for all the hundred percent in the super dream. It's really your choice. These topics go for it for the first is what I would say. Win eleven from how I saw the release of Win eleven seems cool, but not not as appealing as Ubuntu. Ubuntu has always been more appealing, and uh, I don't know how development friendly it will be when compared to Mac. Uh, uh, pains me to say, but Mac is probably very development friendly. Even though I've not worked with it, but I've heard a, a number of reviews that Mac is the most development friendly. Uh, I'm not sure Windows eleven is going to beat that, but I'm sure it won't beat Ubuntu in terms of development friendliness.
Okay. Uh, I'm first year going to second year. How do I find my interest in web dev or AI? Dabble your uh, dabble your feet into both waters. Uh, try out web dev for some time for probably two weeks. Try out AI for two weeks. Uh, try out DS algos, and you should be able to find which area of which area you like better. Uh, it's something that all of us do did. So don't worry, it's not something. Uh, and uh, I, I, I would say uh, not so obvious, but it's see what. Or something uh, might be the right word. It's not something. I did not getting the right word. I don't know why. Something that not many people do. It's something that all of us did. So don't worry. Go for it. Try try both uh, web dev AI DS algos and it will and you should be able to find what you would like. Okay, we have 77 people. Okay guys, uh, it's about 6.30, I think um, I think we'll be closing. Uh, I'll be ending the stream in about a minute or so. Uh, thanks a lot for being here. As I previously said, thanks to the thanks to the team, thanks to ACM, thanks for Sudha and Sir, thanks to the principal and thanks for uh, HOD for giving this opportunity to help you guys all out. I hope it was a good meet and uh, we'll be ending in 30 seconds. Yeah, we can end the meet. For anything else, uh, feel free to contact.